What's going on, everybody? I'm Captain Robert, and this is the weird Wild West two shot, baby. Yeah! Here we go again. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> I'm ready for this. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh boy. I'm talking in my normal voice because who knows? I'm de definitely not Jasper. Well, technically, I'm Jasper, but you know. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Look at that oh, Professor geez. Plum down there. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. You know, you made you made the joke. We look like the cast from Jumanji. This definitely looks more like a clue game to me. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Professor Plum. I mean, Colonel Mustard over there. Mrs. In the Fuck. in the foyer with the wooden pickle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One plus two plus, plus two plus one, not two plus two plus one plus one. <laughs> I bust radio's balls, uh, you know, pretty much all the time about this uh, this rooster Cogburn lookalike. That's his character. It's just <laughs> him. I mean, it, even the character art is is aged him. <laughs> 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 I mean, you grow the beard out a little bit and uh, throw some dirt on your face. Uh, Baker's Mang. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Baker's Mang. Baker's <laughs> Mang. <laughs> You've never See? left Bakersfield. That right there. <laughs> I'm missing some teeth, too. You'd be sitting <laughs> around talking about Trump's er erection. <laughs> I mean, I'll tell you right now, this is all bull. I mean, we, we never would have lost that war. <laughs> this is just radio you throw a little yeast on him. <laughs> Plumps up a little bit. <laughs> you throw a little yeast on him. You know, thanks to Voodoo Ranger, I get my yeast pretty much daily. Uh, so, I would say we're, we're going to be picking up right where we left off, but really, we have no idea, chat. We got a good idea. There's a baby missing out there. We went over a couple of the basic flaws. Let me tell you, when I hop back into Roll20, the disorganization of what the Western music was like that day from compiling everything together, it took a hot minute. But we're here, and we're happy because this is a charity goal release, all because you guys raised a absolute <laughs> of money for Princess Margaret Cancer Center. You guys are awesome. You get this extra little bit of ridiculous all because of them, which is super cool. We appreciate that. As was the first one shot. You may play cards for whoever you want. Good, the bad, and the ugly. You got it. You can have fun. This will be the last time that we step foot probably in these characters' shoes. <laughs> Their boots. We are we are we are prepared to die in these boots today. As for, oh, I think well, I already I, I, did. I, I beg to differ there, sir. <laughs> I have I have gone on many an adventure with the Texas Ranger, and I'm not looking to die here tonight. I tell you what. <laughs> you come out here, you gotta go expecting to die. Nobody lives. <laughs> I always do expect to die, Miss Ellie, but I'll tell you right now, my luck of survival has carried me through thus far. <laughs> I, I like how you have the upgraded eye patch, Ellie. I know. <laughs> <laughs> the original one. This is from my cat. This, this family bought him. Luckily, a, we had a, a spare. <laughs> I borrowed this. I just really wanted to come out about the parents buying him a pirate costume. Hey, listen, so I, I got the kind of parents You're that... You're a grown adult. Let us buy you a pirate got... costume for your birthday. A grown so, son. So listen, my, my, my dad is a... He's what you would call a joker. He's not He's not so funny. A dad but joker. Yes. Joke? He, uh... Yeah, makes me, oh. makes me a divine comedy. Uh... He uh, he likes to buy things like uh, what was the thing he bought? Maybe my last birthday it was a uh, some sort of like weird little ball that uh, had a, an IR sensor in the bottom and blades, and it basically just was like a helicopter. But when it, the IR sensor sensed your hand, it would just go back up. So it would just like it's, that's the kind of shit I get for my birthday at Christmas. Stuff that would entertain a seven year old. Yeah, just random shit he finds at like Amazon or, <laughs> yeah, but what he's or whatever. Not really, he played with it for 40 hours before it burnt out and he had to throw I it mean, away. There was a solid like 10 minutes of playing with it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 
It's like, oh, this is kind of cool. <laughs> I was like, I was like, yeah, it's kind of nice. Seven years. You know, I don't know where it's at now, but you know, what of the dogs have chewed on it? Probably. Bell <laughs> thinks everything is food. That's the kind of that's that's the kind of that's the kind of gifts my my dad's rolling with. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be dead honest. When I woke up today and there was snow in Missouri, I got really, really sad when I went to Instagram and I didn't see your puppers running around in it. And I realized I'm like, oh yeah, they're not up or not around here anymore. <laughs> no anymore. They oh, I mean, last snowfall. I could send you. I could send you a pic of them in the hammock if you want. <laughs> in that, like both of them. Today. Both of them in the hammock. It's doable. It's yeah, doable. we can get them in the hammock. Dogs. <laughs> We're hammock people now. We're hammock people. Love it. This is the life. <laughs> well, we'll get our sponsors out of the way. Voodoo Ranger, thank you for your sponsorship as always. The drink that is in my cup. Guys, Captain Dynamite is out in stores. The beard that y'all voted for. It's getting there. Look at the supermarket. Enjoy all of its IPA goodness. It is another hot bomb. I believe you got some in your cup, Mang. Uh, well, you know, uh, I, I would love to say that, uh, yeah, that that that's a true statement. But uh, I bought a uh, two six packs on Friday, and none of them made it to uh, Wednesday. <laughs> none of them made it to the Wednesday. Well, holy shit! <laughs> wow. I, I would love, I would love to, earlier, I'd love, huh? love to show you a can, but the last one I finished last night. Sorry. <laughs> Amazing. Appreciate y'all out there in Voodoo Land. Roll20, dndbeyond.com. Thank you guys for your generous sponsorship as well. Couldn't do it without you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So. Picking up where we left off. Still back at the tavern. Now Jasperless. As he breathed his last breath. <laughs> Staring back at his empty body, possibly his soul inside of a rock. No baby. Gone to a mysterious skeletal rider. But the rest of those foes vanquished. We're going to pick up after you guys have gotten a long rest. And we're going to be out at old Jasper's burial. Pile of rocks high. couple of them his favorite ones Reverend if you could say a, a, a few words for really I love Jasper yeah I think that I could oblige that as the reverend takes off his hat uh, and uh, Jasper had given him the, it was the gold nugget, right? Mm -hmm. It was, right? Yeah. Okay. As, he, as he looks at the, all the gold in his hat and kind of weighs it in his hand and uh, kind of puts his hand in there and filters through the gold nugget and stuff and kind of feels that. <laughs> Dear God, receive your servant. What, what, what was his name again? Jasper. It's Jasper. 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 <laughs> I am him, Lord, but you know his name created him before even time. Uh, may he rest in peace, having given of himself most generously to his fellow compatriots. As I'm clanking that gold in my hat. <laughs> Dear Lord, receive his soul, and may he not perish in eternal damnation. Amen. I lean over to Ellie. It's almost as if I can still hear him running around in my head. Oh, it's like he never did stop talking to my ear. <laughs> my 
only good ear too. Could have whispered in the other one and wouldn't bother me none. He never did find it. Harry man did he ever talk about? No, I don't think he did. What was that that he was looking for? What was... I don't... God, he said so much, but I remember so little. <laughs> Well, Miss Ellie Mae, it's hard to remember ravings of a madman. Lord bless him for what he was. He's a little crazy, but, you know, he had a thing for rocks. He's definitely got a lot of them now. God, definitely had a thing for rocks. You can't even imagine. I'd be careful with that gold rock you hold, and you don't know what he's been doing with that. Well, I'm sure that it will, uh, it'll spin all right. And, well, if we're, if we're done here, and he's just going to kick a pile of dirt into the grave. <laughs> This is kind of like motion that we should just leave. <laughs> <laughs> Prepared an uh, appetizer buffet with nachos and huevos back at the tavern. Uh, should have un unlimited bonus rings as well. Uh, I made sure to uh, make sure those nachos were not spicy at all. The last time they really burnt an O ring out, if you know what I mean. Um. Well, if you said nachos and huevos con carne, <laughs> I think I can make that trip right uh, there, sir. Yes. That's gonna be eighty-five dollars. Is a straggly man in a wore-out leather vest, no shirt, grave digger, mortician, and funeral home operator all in one. <laughs> Freshly done digging that hole up. Yes, that's just, uh, 85 marks. Brampton, Mr. Brampton the Brampton III is always good for this. I have plenty back. Oh my God. What's that? <laughs> just, uh, just be patient and I will go back and get the suitable uh, uh, amount of money for you. We're not paying with this nugget. We're keeping it, keeping it in his honor. Uh, we do have to, uh, and look back at the rest of the group. Someone who can actually read and write. I, uh, no offense to the rest of you. I just don't know your background. If you could please sign off on the papers, uh, with the doctor so we can confirm. We wouldn't want this, this individual, you know, voting again, for God's sakes. I'm very, very, very concerned that he could vote from the grave. And that would... We need to make sure that this death certificate is finalized. It is of the utmost concern to me. Now let me put your let me put your concerns at ease. I'll sign it as a ranger. Don't worry about that. I'll okay. take care of that. And, and any fees will be paid by the state. You go ahead and send that bill to your local congressman. He'll make sure he fills that out for you and gets you your money. No problem. Um, yes, sir. Oh, God. I forgot just how loud this, this tavern could be. As we walk back in. It's a pretty sparse crowd. Catering's pretty easy after a shootout inside the saloon. <laughs> it's, it's pretty much just us with an appetizer buffet. Go ahead and roll a perception check. <laughs> what is, what is perception? Mine's a negative one. Yeah. 14. Hey, I'll take 17. <laughs> I'm a rock. <laughs> I believe it is customary for uh, the reverend to go first in a, in a potluck situation. <laughs> Don't do it. He hasn't washed his hands. He keeps touching me. Okay. I thought you were at least supposed to serve others. Isn't that how that works? Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, you can't serve others until you've served yourself. You know what I mean? As the, old, as the old saying goes, if uh, if I die of hunger, how can I help the poor? Well, you're Ellie is the man of God. You better just when I attended church. Yeah, it's, it's in Deuteronomy somewhere. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> Maybe it's uh maybe it's uh, somewhere uh, somewhere uh, before or after Luke Luke eleven nine. <laughs> Luke eleven nine. Yeah, yeah. Remember it like it was yesterday. 
<clears throat> Excuse me, Reverend. I don't remember there being eleven Lukes. No, it's, no. It's, well, well, there's only one book of Luke, but there uh, are eleven chapters, verse nine, for sure. So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you, and seek and you will find. Knock, knock on the door, and the door will be opened unto you. It's just what I remember. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, well, I'm not going to put some food on my plate. I'm waiting way too long for this, and I am not here for Bible study. If I were, I wouldn't have brought my gun. Well, sometimes you yeah. are just knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Oh, please, go, Ellie May, go ahead. You go ahead. You go ahead before me. Thank you. A real gentleman out here, finally. I'm already up there scooping mac and cheese on my plate. <laughs> Caustic, you got a counter strike, and I got the other one. Oh yeah. That's my only notes tonight, or what cards I get. <laughs> Let's see it. I still got some notes from last time. I'm still I'm still needing an item A. I have one weird line from Mean Girls that says only wear pink on Wednesday, and I don't know where that's from. <laughs> that was a Jasper thing. <laughs> <laughs> just, I want to argue it. absolutely not, but with Jasper, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like see, maybe. See what I have. I've got it written down: dirty hands, sniffles, <laughs> double jointed, and I've got my underwear with the, uh, I, I believe the 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 forbidden fruit. Ooh. You know, this reminds me of when I was on a desert island once. I found a coconut that I named Winston, and uh, he drifted off to sea accidentally one night while I was sleeping. This is just like, just, this is just like the service I had for him. Old Jasper would have been so proud. I think we did Jasper right. He's probably doing okay, hanging out there in the dirt. There's probably a few rocks down there that we accidentally buried him with, so he'll make some good friends if he ever, you know, revives himself somehow. Uh, Miss Ellie, I tell you, I, I threw a couple of rocks down there just to make sure he was, he had company. See, you're a good man. You are a good man. A time with the Rangers, it teach you how to be uh, respectful to your elders and, you know, all that, all that stuff. Wait, do you uh, think I'm one of your elders? Well, say that again. I think I might make it losing hearing in one ear. Yeah, what was you that? You just call me old. No, I was talking about Jasper. Uh, you were showing respect to elders, and I saw what you were being polite to me earlier. Don't I, was, think I cannot add those things together. Miss Ellie May, I was just showing respect for your lady kind, that's all. I understand. Mm -hmm. I understand. Do you you might think that my intentions that of a scoundrel, but I promise they were wholehearted in intention. Well, I, I just wanted to make sure. Breath. Unlike the Reverend, you got your fair share. <laughs> well, there you have a fair point. She's gonna look over at the Reverend. How are you already eating? Probably. Oh yeah, I got I got a pile of brisket and cornbread and you know baked beans uh, we, or whatever, could, whatever they're bringing to this pot. We like. couldn't afford the brisket. We could only afford the abomination well, of what looks like the Applebee's you know, half-priced you know, appetizer the, menu, and I ordered knockoff Wallaby Dons. Oh uh, well, it's probably the you know like the little Smokies or the, like the the frozen meatballs and barbecue sauce or whatever. Lots <laughs> lots of sugar-coated barbecue sauce. And, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter what it is. Once it puts what's on the plate, it's just a pile of like yellows and browns. <laughs> I'm just, you know. Oh, as I lean over to the buffet, I, I can actually tell where the Reverend's been from the amount of sawdust that is there. <laughs> oh yeah, there's there's visible dirt prints on all the spoons. <laughs> but <sighs> about this time. The doors inside this Wild West saloon open up again. Describe yourself. Um, you would see a man in like very like fine clothes, uh, very like skinny, like scrawny, like almost almost gaunt, but like he's got spectacles on that kind of come down to his nose. Short, like dark, darkened hair. Uh, has like a, a beard that's kind of kept pretty well um, and he's got like a nice little bow tie uh, and he's got like a pack with him and he's got some like parchment that he's like looking at and he kind of, you know, just kind of meagerly kind of like walks into the bar. Ah, shit, oh. the accountant showed up. Reverend, have you paid for this? Uh, you paid for this here supper? 
No, no, we have spared no expense. The Reverend will absolutely not be praying here today. Yeah, I, I, I'm a simple, humble uh, servant of the Lord, and uh, the money I receive goes directly to the Lord. I thought this was supposed to be taking care of one of the children of God. Mm-hmm. We did. Well, oh, of course, I'm taking care of wrong. their spiritual needs. <laughs> I Teach mean, look at Teaching a man to fish is a is a multi-step process. This gentleman here with the glasses look like he's about to get paid. So you, you better you better figure out what he needs. If anything, uh, maybe this fine gentleman in the fine clothing could make a contribution to the Lord's work. Hell with you. Sir, my name is Thomas Marley. How may I help you? Welcome to the bereaved of one Mr. Jasper. Who we fought with here in this year's saloon. How can we help you today? Oh yeah, um, uh, hi, uh, yeah, I heard, a lot, I heard a lot of shooting, and I, well, I didn't want to leave my office because, you know, guns kind of scare me uh, a little bit. Um, but yeah, hi, um, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm Doctor Live. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's really, it's really great. Uh, to, to meet you, uh, Thomas Marley, um, and, and, uh, and, and preacher, you know, I'm, I'm more of a scientific man myself, not really, you know, but, you know, I, under, I, I respect your, you know, a man of the cloth, um, yeah, uh, miss, uh, and, and, uh, it, 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 is that, is that cornbread on the, on the buffet? Is that something I could have? Yeah. <laughs> the reverend's gonna look over at Marley and say, Dear God, the man's a simpleton. I, I'm sure the good doctor, Mister, would say Doctor Live. Is that was what, what your name was? <laughs> yeah, yes, doc, Doctor Doctor Live. Um, I'm, I'm the uh, practitioner of um, both um, the physical needs as well as um, sometimes I, uh, I I do dabble, um, you know, because it's kind of crazy here uh, in you know some of the more uh, as you would say like uh, the spiritual or paranormal um, investigations. But mostly uh, I'm here just to like you know I yeah. Well, you say you're a doctor. I got this here. I got this here thing down here on my neck. I call it old knob. It, it looked like a goiter to me. Can, oh, can you tell oh, me? Oh, that's that is. I I think that you you should probably you know, that might need an exorcism, sir. Um, uh, that is disgusting. Well, the sounds of you, the sounds of you, you, you got a background in castration and started with yourself. <laughs> he should have no problem taking that old knob off. <laughs> Well, yeah, I, I mean, I got, I, I, got a, I got a blade myself. right here if you want to try and take it off. I mean, I, old knob been pressing on my vocal cords. I, he's the reason I talk like this, I'm pretty sure. Well, I'd hate uh, to lose him, but you can take uh, we can, I, I might need like a, a clean set of hands. Um, uh, excuse me, preacher, could you help me? Um, oh, no, you don't want, no, you don't want, no, 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 you're no, walking no, up no. the wrong tree. <laughs> Any physical ailments, uh, can be called, uh, just, I figured a man blessed by the cloth, his hands should be, you know, the the, the These best. These are the divine the instruments of the Lord. <laughs> not not live. His, his, his body is blood. His blessed hands are by blessed. women of the night. <clears throat> Thank you very much. By, uh, by, you put it right there. Exactly <laughs> what I wanted to say. Why don't you just come in here and have some of this cornbread with us? We'll talk. We'll tell you all about our good, our good, dearly departed friend. The left side has the whole penis in it. Watch out! It'll really burn a hole in your ass. Oh, I am. Oh, well, I'm actually really good with um, like spice um, and, and thing, you know, hot. I'm, <laughs> you know. <laughs> if you need, I've, I've found these these elements from across the world. They call them asylum husks. You know, if, if you if you take these with one of the ales back behind the bar, make sure you drink it quick. Otherwise, it'll turn to slug slime. But my God, by the end of the day, you'll be laying loafs. Well, um. That is a lot of information, uh, and I think you should probably get that checked out. Um, we should probably schedule an appointment for next Tuesday, uh, and, and maybe no Mr. Marley can come in like well. next Wednesday. Well, I, I, I practice all kinds of uh, practices. Um, you know, I'm very practiced in my practice. <laughs> Well, I think he. I'm sorry. There was probably a, a, a lot of big words there. Um, I didn't mean to like confuse you. Um, uh, what I mean to say is that I I am very well educated, and uh, I come from a long uh, family of doctors. And you know, I would be happy to look at you uh, at at another time. I'm sorry, Miss. Uh, I'm sorry, Miss. Just sit down, shut your mouth, and take a drink. 
You're gonna oh, be doc. here. You're gonna be a little more bearable than that. All right. Doctor, her name's Ellie Mae. She's quite temperamental, but she's a good shot. <sighs> a, a good shot. Um. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Well, that's useful. Reverend. Reverend. Mm. Reverend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Is there a possible way that we can consider the resurrection of our friend Jasper and replace him inside this person's body? Well, you I've are. Seen uh, dark voodoo arts for my travels. You are speaking about uh, powers well within the Lord's might, uh, although you know, depending on how it's how it's accomplished. You might be, you might be attempting the devil there, sir. No risk I'm willing to take if I have to listen to this man anymore. I never <laughs> thought that I want to hear about the hairy man, but now I do. I'd rather have Jasper and his gambling problem and his, his really odd attention and deficit issue and his issues with women all sound particularly interesting now. Well, unfortunately, I... I did what I could to spare Jasper's life, but he refused to be revivified. Uh, he's truly moved on. He's... Uh... Doctor, the papers are over past the cornbread. If you could please sign them on your way through, that would be fantastic. Oh, uh, sure. Uh, yeah, uh, absolutely. I could, I could do that. Sure, absolutely. Are they, are they in order? As a member of the, uh, <laughs> the ranger. I would say those those papers are definitely in order. I signed uh, myself, so yeah, once you sign, it's official, and the uh, the state will pay for his burial. Same oh, that that's all wonderful. Good. Okay, let me just uh, I'll just um okay. All right, let me just look through these real quick. Okay, you, you yep, see, that Ellie, seems in order. Ellie May, this is why you cannot trust the government. This is exactly why that you cannot trust the government. There's okay. people like this. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. No, you're right. We can't. Ha oh my gosh, I'm just losing my mind. They'll get not a single penny. You can't. You can't trust anything. Let's be honest. That's why I moved out here. Uh, I see here, uh, Miss Ellie, that you were you were Jasper's uh, significant other. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> oh, it, it just says right here on the paperwork, uh, significant He's other. Who wrote that down? Apparently, he made you next of kin with a napkin. It's actually stapled back behind it. At what some point, I, it's, it's, you are the beneficiary of his rocks now. Oh, great. His rocks? I mean, the rocks that he gave? The was his creature face? Ugh. Yeah, um, that this is uh, actually you would be entitled to all of his possessions. Um, currently, that was on his body at the time of passing, as well as his uh, large uh, historic uh, ranch uh, out in the uh, wilderness. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, no. I'm yeah, well, he, he had. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. No. Yeah. I heard no, it was a key. definitely Mrs. Jasper, right? Okay. Are you sure? I could. I could have this like an old and like you know. It's right. I'm sorry. I must have misheard you. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. I'm definitely his wife. We're a right. darling little family with a cute little farm out there, and I'm just so glad he took care of us. Okay, uh, I just need you to answer a few questions. Um, when did you guys meet? We met a long time ago. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, I met at the bar. Out... <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> A good drink is a good place to meet. She's going to elbow him real hard. Right? Consummated the uh -huh. marriage back behind the bar. <laughs> oh, that's, um, I, I, I usually don't pry that deep into it, but, you know, okay, know all right. the details, trust me. <laughs> well. So I'm rest assured that the marriage is legitimate. I officiated it myself. Uh, in exchange, in exchange for, uh, you know, uh, a, a small fee, uh, still to be paid, unfortunately, Jasper, uh, <laughs> passed away first but uh you know i will collect my fee from his widow we can settle that later rock it's gonna take the all later from from the estate but uh i officiated that ceremony myself we, we all promised as a group to get that pole barn up on in the fact, property that's... she's going to be due in nine months so we have oh, to get you're, you're oh i thought i saw a little baby bump um that's she's great um and for all of us in we fact this was, can't this was wait this was all intended to be the reception before uh, before things went oh, awry. Okay. We haven't well, you... had a chance to announce anything yet. Good, good, good and job. I'd uh, good news. It if you all kept it quiet. Since... 
mother yet. You, you know, oh, Doctor, you may, you may want to attend to the uh, the forthcoming while the, the rest of us have a uh, <laughs> have a drink. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. Just uh, rest assured, uh, Miss Ellie, that uh, your child has very low risk of, of with any deformities of the eyes or ears or anything like that. So you shouldn't have to worry um, about that. Uh, that's usually not a genetic thing that uh, passes on, as this seems like something that happened uh, afterwards, uh, pre uh, predisposition of said abnormalities. Well, you know, Pre I never did marry him for his look, so... Oh, okay. I mean, that right. must have been pretty obvious, so... Well, I actually don't know what he looks like, so he could have been, you know, I... Uh, you know, he could have been someone else, you know, I don't know. I heard there was uh, this gentleman named, like, Handsome Harry. That, he, was, uh, was he was a hairy man! Around. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, here's the documentation signed, sealed, and delivered, um, you know, um, so that's going to be all in order. Perfect. I, I, I'm so sorry for your loss, uh, madam. I'm sure uh, you're devastated um, by that. It's Excuse why me. I drink. Ellie, hold on one second. <laughs> Doc, what do you know about Handsome Harry? Oh, Handsome Harry. Oh, well, I don't know. It was written in here, um, something about Handsome Harry. Um, and, and I guess maybe it was like a third party to your relationship or something. I don't know. You both seem pretty interested. There's a lot of details in here, actually. This is very, very well drafted. Um, it's mostly on the napkin. Um, there's also some smudge stains, something about fuck coal. I, do you know who a coal is, miss? I do. Um, there's a Goldie Rocks and a Brock. Appropriate. Yeah. Are these your children, miss? It, you might as well call them. They're not blood, but they might as well be our darling children that we cared for Oh, together. okay. Well, I would need to see all of them um, when we actually meet at the estate um, to appropriate uh, the dividends of, of his estate and uh, the, the passing of all of his objects from the... Oh, hold on, hold world. on. Doctor, He's you... He's a rock, you, darling. Doctor, you can't oh. travel with us now. You gotta stay here in town. We, we got lots of uh, got lots of things going on out there in case you haven't, uh, in case you haven't heard. The baby is missing. True. There's a Oh, there's a baby missing. That's why and there's, oh, your your baby is water. missing. Oh my goodness. See, I am so sorry, Ellie. Are you going to be okay? I mean, your baby is missing. She had one that, on the bar right before they met. Oh my. That's <laughs> yeah, not. Oh. You're missing a lot of details for a doctor. Just, aren't yeah, you? If you didn't realize there's two fathers in play. There are not. Do you not may I, may I, may I, may I, may I, may I speak to you in private, miss? You may, without the okay. prying eyes and interjections of this rambunctious group. Bartenders okay. look at each other. <laughs> Told you she was a <laughs> <laughs> straight up gold digger. <laughs> <laughs> Just like your husband. <laughs> a survivalist. Uh, Doctor Live. Doctor, what is it that pull you, you need to pull confirm yourself. with me? Um. Uh, all right. Uh, I usually don't do this so preemptively, but I'm actually kind of uh, also in the middle of some research. Um, and he like puts this like book away, and he pulls out this like really raggedy like dark like book with like this like like almost like burned leathers on it and he just like opens it up and flips through some pages okay um do you ever hear voices in your head i do not know okay all right um you said that you had a child with this man before you actually had sex um could you explain how that happened well hold up here cole is not a it's... blood cole is a rock it's our cole metaphorical... is a rock a metaphorical child. That is not a real child that was taken here. It's a rock. The, well, Cole is a rock. I didn't have the baby that was stolen from here. We were here. There was a baby, and then somebody oh, else's baby it, got oh, stolen. Yeah, I'm. I'm. It's. It's illegitimate. It's okay. We'll just pass that. It's fine. We don't yeah, have to tell. Little, oh, whatever. Fine. It's sure. okay. All right. It's fine. Oh, I, kicked, I got the piano working over here. <laughs> 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 oh, I love music. Uh, it, well, we can finish this up later, Ellie. Um, okay? Oh, good. I love talking to you. I'd love a repeat of this. Oh, absolutely. You know, you can come by my office anytime. Um, you know, we could maybe have a drink or something. That would be swell. <laughs> I'm very appropriate for you to have with clients now, does it? 
Well, uh, not if I'm doing any work on you, but if we're just having a conversation, you know, a chat, like, you know, it's great. It's a date. I'll see you Tuesday. <laughs> and just like close the button, just walks Are away. Are all your appointments on Tuesdays? <laughs> yeah. Well, one day a week. <laughs> <laughs> You, you shift to his Ugh. schedule that is posted on the outside of his office, and it's literally just Tuesdays. <laughs> it's just all, it's just everything's Tuesdays, and he's off the rest of the time. I realized that this is what we did for a group of strangers the first time that we met for their cancer charity and their first drive ever. <laughs> this is these are the people we present to them. <laughs> I mean, at least That's we left this best. stuff. At least this stuff is in episode two and not in the, not in the first one. <laughs> I, we were just as bad. <laughs> Chances of them watching this one are almost zero, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 well, see, see, Doctor. Uh, yeah, yes, you, Reverend. You, I, I, this might be a spiritual matter, but uh, if you come with me behind the bar here for a moment. Uh, oh, I like yeah, your okay, opinion yeah. on uh, on the devil's. Oh, a absolutely. I, I do uh, do some occult and supernatural um, dealings as well. So well, um, this yeah. is definitely a supernatural pain in the ass. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. Sure. What he's gonna, he's, he's he's gonna he's gonna pull on his dick with with a with a very obvious venereal disease. <laughs> oh, oh my <laughs> that. Oh, um, Ellie, man, Ellie, man, look away, look away. We're behind the bar. I think I want to be seen. We're behind the bar. Snake. No. <laughs> I'm covering just your one eye with well, two hands. Well, see, I've, I've <laughs> prayed. I've prayed to the Lord to heal this malady uh, brought on by the devil, and he has uh, delivered you unto me via my prayers. So, <laughs> therefore, I have delivered myself. I have delivered you unto myself to cure this ailment. Looks like a rotten bramble patch down there. Can I ask how the preacher got blessed with such a... I would probably say, um, you know, an unclean sexual act, but uh, he's a preacher, so that couldn't possibly be it. Impossible. Um, so maybe he is, a, maybe he is afflicted. Um, maybe, Wait, um, okay, you know, I have some you know, ointments. You know, Dr. Um, Life, he doesn't wash his hands, so he could have got it from, you know. What's more well, concerned? Oh, it looks like a barbecue. I'm having a hygiene. conversation with my physician here. Would you put out? Yeah, oh, yeah, so, yeah. Sorry, he's, he's being really loud. Ellie, look, look, Actually, look, you, look, you, you shouldn't, you shouldn't put out. That's yeah. that's probably why he he's like that. Anyway, um, let's meet next Tuesday. Um, just swing by the office. <laughs> And, and uh, we can have a more um, uh, uh, thorough look uh, from a distance. Um, and I have some concoctions uh, and some deals I've made to uh, maybe make something happen for you, okay? Yeah, I know between the two of us and the divine intervention of God, we can sort this problem out. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. And, and the power of science. Well, but mostly the power of God. But uh, science through, through what God allows, uh, through the methods. Sure. Molly, yeah. Molly, do you want, do you know what this looks like? As I take a ball peen hammer and I smash one of the little smokies, it looks like Reverend Jeremiah's dick. Ellie <laughs> 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 May, come look, come look at this. <laughs> I think I've seen that like before. <laughs> uh, uh, I <laughs> proceed to pick up the scraps and still eat it though. Oh, the, the, the reverend will zip up his pants, but insistently scratch now, having agitated the area as he walks around, uh, <sighs> scratching with one hand. You do not get to touch <clears throat> any of the food after that little show. Okay? He's already got a hand on the cornbread. Oh, nobody else touch that. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to have to eat the jalapeno. Oh, God. What about you, but I'm going to go... Uh find my way out to the street maybe there's a guy selling a lote out there I, I could get some of that because it's a whole lot more appetizing than what's sitting here in front of us i need uh, some fresh air too or i'm gonna hurl get me out of here i uh i'm still <laughs> i'm still at the buffet i actually swing around my fanny pack from the side of my safari shirt but my fanny pack is actually just a lion's nut sack that i've sewn together <laughs> A cost of it from my travels and my big game hunting. I'm gonna f fish out my men, my silent husks, my my mete musala, musala. Yeah, just, oh god, 
so I pour a little bit into my wallaby darn. Stir it with the umbrella. Oh, yeah, this is wild that right up. Just kind of. <laughs> You know, they say exotic's supposed to be alluring, but man, did you prove me wrong? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Yardbird's gonna go outside, roll himself a cigarette. But it actually comes out pretty good. It actually it actually doesn't look like a uh, hammer <laughs> hole, so you know. <laughs> it doesn't look like Jeremiah's cock. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna sit out there and slow draw on that thing and just watch the street and try and forget everything he just saw between the sausage and what happened with the doctor. Uh, excuse me. Um, then, then I'm actually curious. You said a baby was was taken. Was was there a baby? And did they get taken? Yes. Yes, there was a baby. It was in the back over on that far corner side. Got swept out by the window area by some creeper. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Uh, just just give me a moment, please. Uh, Dodger's going to walk back and uh, can I do an arcana check uh, or something? Because I just want to see if there's any trace of any supernatural, weird, anything left behind um, from this baby kidnapping. Yeah, go for it. Hell yeah. <laughs> 20. <laughs> you, uh, you reach down and you think that you may have found the placenta, but it's actually just an old barbecue boneless wing that started to <laughs> melt into the tile work. <laughs> oh, that's not but, what I thought it was. <laughs> nope. There is a strong feeling of dark magic that still persists mm. inside this tavern, but it is slowly fading away now at this point. Uh, excuse me. Uh, what about the uh, woman that was uh, that the, the the woman having the the child? The if it wasn't your baby, then where's the woman that came with the child? Oh, well, gosh, I don't know where she went. I totally forgot. And oh, we were, we were... She really wasn't my main concern. Also, the baby oh, wasn't, which okay. is why I got right. taken. We were actually uh, scheduled to uh, uh, meet on Tuesday, um, uh, her and the child. And uh, she was really curious about um, the nature of the child. Uh, I really think it's in the best interest of, of, of all of us, uh, you, you, yourselves included. And we have a ranger uh, as well, um, that we should really find the child. Uh, I, I, I would worry about the child's safety. Well, what's the worst they can do to that kid? Oh, there's a lot that the, the, the darker powers of this world can do to a child. I mean, look what happened to your eye. What's wrong with my eye? Well, I mean, you know, something happened to it, right? So if if think if that was like a dark power that did that, you might not have both eyes. I like my eye as is, thank you very much. It adds character. Well, it absolutely does. I, I think you you're you're quite uh an an, an, an attractive one eyed lady. <laughs> You know, Wait, we, right. you know, we can we can talk about this uh, next Tuesday uh, when you come by for drinks. Uh, right, uh, Marley. I really think that this is. <laughs> I really think we should not. Uh, we should be doing something about this. So, Doc, what you don't understand is we all just got the ever living <laughs> kicked out of us. So, uh, we're taking this moment to remember our good friend Jasper. Oh, yeah. Rebuild yeah, our Jasper. strength, and right. then we're gonna go okay. out and find that skeleton son of a bitch that killed our friend and that little liver licking son of a bitch that took that baby well i can i can sense that the uh the dark magic that was here is starting to drift away and uh, as you well know uh being a fine ranger of yourself the longer you wait the harder it is to track uh these things so i you know it's just, it's just a, a, an observation. I don't uh, presume to know, uh, or, or know better than you, uh, sir. But I, Doc? I just, 
You don't think I understand the radius that's growing in our search party that leaves this 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 bar the minute we leave here because we've given him this much time already? Uh, I well maybe I I don't know I mean historically speaking I would think that you would. Trust me. And takes us as a fool. <clears throat> you think you think we're suckers, don't you? Uh, no, I, I don't think you're suckers. Um, Is this man in a bow tie gonna pay me for that burial? The Undertaker's walked up. Yep. Slaps his sweaty chest. As he runs oh, his fingers oh. through his hair to trail hi, down. Hi, Jeff. Howdy. Do you, oh, you, you require payment? Yeah. Oh, no. sure. Sure. He just pulls out like a, just an enormous like pouch just full of money. Uh, how much is it uh, this time? His eyes glaze over. Eight, eight, eight to five dollars. Eight to five dollars. Eight, um, eight to five dollars. All right. Uh, we'll go with uh, like six fifty. Is that is that okay? I said eight to five dollars. Um. Okay. So, so, uh, we can go eight. That's fine. Eight to five dollars. God damn it. If you don't understand local colloquialisms, that's eighty-five dollars, there, sir. Oh, eighty. The- oh my, that is very expensive for a burial. Wow. Uh, okay. All right. Sure. Um. Here. He did have here's a lot of rocks. A- Here's a lot of rocks. And of course, oh. there's there's my fee for officiating the, the Shut burial up, ceremony. Oh, well, you'd have to get that from uh, the missus. Don't even dare look at me, you <laughs> ugly, venerated monster. Well, that's right. Well, we can, we can, well, like I said, we can settle up at the estate later. <sighs> Is that where we're going next? Are we going to go to the estate? <laughs> See this widow's cactus farm? <laughs> well, I mean, it, it dawns on me that uh, uh, the Lord has placed this bounty in front of us. We might as well see the path that He has laid out in front of us. I think at this point we need to find the trail from our prey, and then if we can't find there, then we should probably just go back to that house and hang out for a little bit. <laughs> Charlie's trying to turn into some sort of bossy. <laughs> to go after the, 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 to what? To go after the rightful heir to the throne of the cactus farm? <laughs> hey, hey, listen, there's a baby out there that needs to be found. They're gonna do some dark deeds on them. We gotta stop that before it even happens. You listen here, my We ain't gonna stop until we get it. Now, we might be taking a rest now, but there's things to be done. Uh, we can't live this life of leisure. This ain't Hollywood, son. That kid is going to live its life as an, at least as an American demon. And I can tell you from my travels across the world that this is the greatest country on the planet. And it's better off being a little American demon baby than it is running around in the third world. Where exactly is this, is this property at, Doctor? <laughs> Oh, um, uh, it's accordingly, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, you know, I, I, I'm looking like, uh, about uh, a couple miles outside of the city. Well, that's practically next door. We I can mean, be there you know, by lunch. You know, if my calculations aren't correct, uh, it's kind of nearish the mountains. Uh, and apparently it's, uh, out by the old mine. Oh, well, Doc, since you know this territory so well, you're going to escort us to this here territory and this here uh, ranch. That's right and over the, there. Just like I can see the Yucatan Peninsula from here. All you got to do is get up to the water also, tower. Hold on. We're out here following our own rules. Good deeds aside, everything gets paid. We can't afford to do work for free. Are we getting paid for it or what? Is there a, is there a bounty on the child? Is this a... Well, if we want to save it, somebody's got to want it, all right? Oh, hell, fine. If you want me to do it, I'll deputize a lot of y'all. I understand. There is a baby child. What? And being a Texas Ranger, I cannot allow that child to go into evil hands. 
saying this right now. This is a search party for that baby right now. Do we well, get a lot Ranger? Of I'm only doing it if I get a badge. <laughs> he said that uh, he said that the the property was near an old mine. Well, it seems to me that uh, some sort of demon zombie bitch might take the take the child to such a place. Well, maybe we can kill two birds with one stone. I'm just saying it sounds like work. I'm a bounty Oops. hunter. I only do things for work. You want my work, you pay me for it. Fine. I'm going to deputize a lot of you. We're all at this point set under the great state of Texas to find oh, ourselves want. in terms to find this here baby under penalty of death or hanging. If you don't serve your duties, you will find yourself in the hangman's noose right here, right now. I'll tell you what. If you're going to fight with me, we're going to fight together. We're going to fight as a ranger. Well, while, I, while I'm eager to see the face of the Lord, I would rather not do it today, so I guess I'm in. Question for you, Molly, what kind of jurisdiction do you actually have in the great state of New Mexico? <laughs> Texas Rangers, they wanted the wilderness. <laughs> I got all the jurisdiction I need right here. Uh, what year is it? <laughs> um, <laughs> quick, Google. <laughs> I, <laughs> I very much believe that at this point, that the Reverend Jeremiah has more diction than you do here. <laughs> hey, hey, these are, these are wild territories. If we decide uh, actually, to claim this in the great state of the Texas Rangers, we will. I, I've actually seen the Reverend's diction and there's not much left. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I, I tell you what, I, I can make this easy. Uh, I was supposed to, um, you know, I, honestly, I was... I can put a bounty out if you would like, uh, and, and pay each of you a uh, hundred dollars uh, for the safe return of the child uh, under to my care, if if you would like. Being that so, I am the physician. Don't say anything more. We're good. So yeah, we could couldn't possibly take the hundred dollars myself, but uh, the Lord <laughs> will accept. Okay. Got it. All right. Yeah. That that would be great. That baby back. He's the one who gets a hundred. Got it. Well, it seems to me he's gonna give us all a hundred dollars. No, yeah, I mean, but that also could work as well. Um, but sure. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. Let me just uh, draft something up real quick, and then we'll get it signed, and then we'll be good to go. Sound good? Great. Awesome. So he's just gonna sit down, and he's gonna pull out like the 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 leathery book again. He's gonna start flipping through, and then he's just gonna start writing down a bounty contract. <clears throat> just make it short and sweet. Oh, well, there's a lot of, you know, I'm, me being a medical professional, um, there's, that, you know, unfortunately, there's a lot of things and in, in assurances that I have to make for myself um, that, you know, would just be better that way. Um, so just give me a moment here. Uh, and then he's going to, like, produce uh, a, a contract um, and he's going to pass it uh, with the quill and just say, OK, if you would just uh, sign your names at the bottom here. Um, and then as you'll see, it states that uh, upon completion and successful retrieval of the child back into my care, um, that I will pay each of you uh, one hundred dollars uh, uh, as part of this bounty. A uh, question for you, uh, Dr. Live. Um, wouldn't it be even easier if you came along with us so we didn't have to come all the way back? You could just take the baby upon retrieval and pay us out where we find it. Oh, I, I plan on going with you. Um, I, I you know, I just, I, you know, I just, oh. um, you know, guns oh. scare me a little bit and, you know, I, there's a lot of shooting, so I was just, you know, but I, I plan on, on going because, you know, under the, the Texas Rangers in the great state of New Mexico, I feel safe. <laughs> I had, I, had, I had no idea that Ellie was this far along and he needed constant around-the-clock attention. This I do not need it, trust me. That's no from him, please don't give me this. Do you dare? So yeah, just go ahead and uh, sign at the bottom and then uh, we'll be all set and squared away. Thanks. Great. Give me the pen. But, well, I don't... Here's a... Yeah, okay. Here's a quill with some ink. Oh, so go ahead and sign it. It's an exotic prairie quail quill. I can see that. 
Oh, it's very, very nice. Well, I have to do a lot of paperwork in my line of work. I can spot that from a mile away. Uh, would, would my nature roll, it's actually a turkey feather. And I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we, uh... Yeah. Look, like, look like a good feather to me, too. Yes, you all love comparing your feathers. It's really informative. <laughs> this is a fun conversation. All right. Plumage idiots. Great. All right. Uh, well, okay. Now I've got... Uh, let me just make sure everyone's Doctor. signature is legible. Doctor. Uh, in case there's any legalities needed. Doctor, uh, I'm okay. here to report Mark symptoms. What? Oh, it, oh yeah, you signed? Okay. J J Reverend, oh, you, you signed? I believe there's smudge on the edge there. Um, uh, Ellie, you signed? Okay. Uh, I think we're good. Ellie has been demonstrating some, some serious mood swings since uh, we got the buffet out. I just... with my shotgun if you oh my, oh my. Extra. She's gonna kick him real hard in the shins. <laughs> oh, <laughs> roll, roll physical roll. manifestation. Under your nuts. Roll the hit with advantage. <laughs> I don't even know what my unarmed is. It's <laughs> a plus eight. Who with advantage, huh? That'll be a 19. Oh, no, God! Oh, oh my. Oh, you're right. I think uh, you got uh, Ellie. patient you should tend to, doctor. Oh, uh, absolutely. Yeah, I, but I, be wary. Well, He's holding his shin, but it's his mouth that keeps running. <sighs> it was not my shin, it was my balls, you devil woman. Why are your balls hanging <laughs> Even the doctor's like, Ugh. It's a long story from when I was in the Caribbean. Oh, God. I guess some. Oh, some the, old, the old Caribbean jerk. The, the Caribbean jerk is correct. That's why I have to tuck it into my left tube sock. Oh. The old Caribbean jerk. Some people just, I guess, are blessed. Um, okay. Your oh, balls this long. They're not even big. They're just long. Oh. God. Like an Olympic ribbon twirler could use it. Oh, God. oh, they really do say laughter is the best medicine. Uh, <laughs> I have to keep that one in mind. <laughs> uh, if if I may, real quick, could I have all of you just real quickly roll a perception check for me? Still trying to roll the one on my Caribbean jerk. The Reverend has diagnosed me with. To a hill. Well, uh, the symptoms are unmistakable. <laughs> so no a, a, yeah. your, your time in the mission trip down in the Caribbean, no doubt. Yes, doing the Lord's work. We were building a, a mission. I saw the Caribbean jerk up close. It was, a, it was a ferocious beast of the devil. <laughs> All right. I could be a mean and tell Ellie to roll at disadvantage. But I'll Do, give it to you. Got one eye. Too late. Yeah, you could. <laughs> She's really but good. But that 20s trump everything, right? True, true. So you'd be the only one that sees that when I take the contract back and I slide it into my book, it just like dissipates in like a fire and just and it's gone. And I just close the book. Nah, all right, great. I, I think we're ready to go. Got some demons with us, preacher. Oh, wait. Dear God, where are they? Oh God, you're not a very good preacher if you can't figure that part out, are you? Well, this is a this is a sinful world, and I'm constantly bombarded by evil false sides. So you'll have to be a little more fucking specific. Wow, that is, uh, Reverend. Are you okay? There's a lot of mood swings happening right now. As he's realizing okay, the corn the cornbread is gone. Reverend? He was trying to get another piece of cornbread, but there's no more. <laughs> He's heated about it. Okay. Uh, Reverend, you've got some, uh, you've got some, um, just, it's kind of coming down a lot. It's like he, your nose. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. 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 That's. As he, you as he, as he. You are demon. Good grief. <laughs> death of yourself. Oh, God, Marley, what are you holding that bobcat up for? Where did you find that thing? Hey. 
You gotta understand, when you speak to animals, they tell you the weirdest things. Sometimes they just want you to pick them up and love them. Hold on! I haven't shot a bobcat yet today. <laughs> Don't be shooting inside. Run, precious, <laughs> run! <laughs> I'm taking a shot at it. Eighteen to hit. Shot at it. Eighteen to hit. Yep. Uh, I mean, come on, it's a bobcat. It's oh, got dexterity. Plus eleven in my hunting rifle. Oh, <laughs> but rolled it. I don't rolled have it. live rounds in. I still got my my elephant gun, the tranquilizer. <laughs> 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 that cat Wait. just stiffens up real quick. <laughs> are you going to put my bobcat to sleep? <laughs> oh, God, I forgot what rounds I had in this thing. Oh, God. Oh, that's just, oh God, with a dose like that, that, that cat's not going to get up for two weeks. It's going to think. I dare you. Look at this poor thing. It doesn't know what to do. It's just passed out. I'm not <laughs> A cat, a cat thinks it's in Tomorrowland. <laughs> he just melted away. <laughs> you just sleep there on the bar floor. You'll be fine, I promise. Cat looks like it's gone to the fair share of EDM festivals. <laughs> what the hell is an EDM festival? Well, you would understand it gets you even worse than a Caribbean jerk. Oh, I think so. that's what uh, Jeremiah has. That's what Jeremiah's uh, looked like for, huh? No, I don't. I don't have the the the, the, the Caribbean the jerk. jerk. That's a that's a foul disease. Are you sure, preacher? Yeah, We've all seen it at disease, this point. That's just a drop, as we so easily discovered. Mm. Yeah, it could be more of like an Asian zinc. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like a garlic parm. I, I, you know, there's a few options here. <laughs> garlic parm is a discharge. Yeah, you know, it's better than a honey barb. <laughs> so the connoisseur, he's like he's been to these places before. Oh well, you know, I have to travel a lot for work, so you know, it's it's, you know, I travel a lot, set up lots of meetings, and then you know, I, I work, you know, Tuesdays. That's it. You can't always get these wallaby dogs. These are fantastic, especially the half off on the happy hour. Oh. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> it drove me to get the Alice Springs chicken as well. <laughs> the extra, extra well done, barkeep. Extra well done chicken, please. Mmm, that sounds wonderful. I can't Oops. eat with you all ever again. <laughs> Oh, my drink's about done. You all ready to get out of this town? Go ex inspect old Jasper's ranch, see if we can find something. No, I haven't hit my hit my limit on Wallaby Dawn yet before they kick me off. I got at least two more. Well, hurry it up. I can drink faster than you. Okay. Oh, you want to yes, drink I, the game, I, do you, Ellie? It'd be easy enough to win it. Oh, I put two gold down on that. You want to throw shots right now? I'll go with you. Oh, you are on, sir. You we ain't got a chance it. to play a drinking game yet. Ugh. I'm going to take my hat off for this one. Are you ready? Oh, I can be ready, but I don't have to take my hat off for it. Bartender, I'm going to need a bottle of your finest. I'm going to pay right now. You go ahead and charge to the great state of Texas. <laughs> sir, that... <laughs> We can't accept a government house charge. Fine, here's two gold. Shut up. I'm pretty sure that's how you closed your tab out at the pool at GCX. <laughs> <laughs> Just put it on Texas. Hey, I told him I'd help him pull the shutters down before the storm. <laughs> I knew I'd heard this before. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> they line up a whole pile as everybody gets their limit of three wallaby darns before they get cut off at the old saloon. First one together. Gets right. off on the right same foot. 
This sounds like a perfectly sensible thing before we get on a train, yes. <laughs> So, DM, what are we rolling on this? <laughs> Constitution saving throws. First, oh, good God. <laughs> first, first DC. Folks that get above a 16. Here we go. First shot in. Oh, <laughs> just 16. <laughs> it dribbles down your beard. Oh, oh Ellie May. <laughs> it's a little messy. I needed a warm up. All right, I can't be showing up to you guys all at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, she probably just couldn't see the glass clearly. <laughs> we see the ice don't cubes. Make, don't, don't make excuses, doctor. Unless you want to play, you shut the f up. Oh no, I, I couldn't possibly drink a bunch before we ride. That just could be get a bad over mixture. Here and drink. It gets him stop talking. Oh. It'll be worth it. Oh, That's a good oh idea, we may. All right, sure. pour another shot around for the doctor. Uh, uh, Reverend, do you, do you partake? Well, I uh, well, I, I don't see why not. I, I would feel better if you would bless this round. Sixteen. <laughs> what am I? What am I doing? Constitution <laughs> check. Constitution yep. saving throw. Oh God, All mine's right. horrible too. Oh, no, Are we all going to get knocked out in the first round? <laughs> Are you ready for it? Oh! Wait, 15, 15. but I have an inspiration, so I'm going to do oh, it. Oh, burn it, you bastard. All right. 17. 17. <laughs> Brampton oh. getting in on the action. Ah, 14! I choke on the ice cubes. Oh, it's, it's, it's running a marathon. It's not about sprinting. Oh. 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 I am knocked out of the competition. DC. Oh, wow. Wait, 17. I only rolled a 10 on that last one. Am I also out? Yeah, we're both out. Or dang it. Well, there we go. Iron Knuckles. 23! Let's go! <laughs> I'm out. All right, I, I guess I, I, I might be able to do this. Um, we'll see. Uh, oh, uh, son of a... I got, a, I got another D6, though, so I'm going to use oh. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I need a big one here. Come on, baby. Oh! 18. 18, you make it. Last oh. one. DC 18. The uh, third wallaby darn on the table for both of you. Oh my. Oh my. Doc, you, uh, you proved your point right now. You don't have to drink this next shot if you don't want to. Uh, what? Yeah, no, I mean, I'm now I'm here, so uh, I just need the Reverend to bless it one more time. Uh, please, Reverend, if you would, be so kind. Go ahead and leave that Reverend to bless me. Dear Lord, bless this liquor. Unto the sinner's body. <laughs> oh, oh, well, I, okay. You don't have to call me a sinner, but that's that's okay. Um, all right, here we go. <laughs> 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 um, I think... <laughs> When I said bless it, I didn't say to put your hand in it. <laughs> oh, we need. <laughs> well, you asked for the Lord's blessing. It is not my fault that He found you unworthy. You oh, yeah. to oh, under yourself. So I guess. I guess that's fine. Time you wake up. <laughs> throw my arm around. Throw my arm around, you you my arm around doctor. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. That's, that's hard drinking whiskey. Yeah. I mean, Lord didn't it's, find it's... you wanting. That distiller's an. Hole, so don't worry about it. Let's get the hell out of this town. If I'm better yeah, drinking whiskey somewhere great. else. That's great. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you, voices in, in my head for the D6 inspiration. I appreciate it. I'm just not going to use it because I don't think it really matters at this point uh, for this thing. Um, mm -hmm. But I, uh, in the future. All right. We're getting out of here before he stumbles over some more words for us. <laughs> oh, I, I, I won't stumble. I have, I have great uh, balance. Oh, do you? Of course. 
Um, uh, could you just give me a second? I have to get my step ladder uh, to my horse. Um, just give me like one moment, okay? Please. <laughs> 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 Pulls this like this like thing out of the out of the back satchel of his horse, and it just like literally like throws it, and just and it's like these little steps, and he just like sets it down and like climbs up, and then uh, and uh, and and uh, up, up we up we do. Oh, whoa, okay, all right, all right, we're good, we're good. Um, could could one of you hand that to me, please? <laughs> oh, just gonna walk up to him, grab it, hand it up to him. Oh, thank you, thank you. Please tell um, me it's like a mule on the smaller side too. Oh yeah, it's not a horse. <laughs> it's, it's not a horse. It's like it's maybe either it's like a baby horse or it's, it's like it's, a mule. It's, it's like, yeah, it's a it's smaller a tiny, it's, mule. Yeah, yeah. As I as I hand you that that stool, <laughs> I roll up to the head and grab the ear and just whisper into his ear. You have fun with him now if you want to. We all get a good laugh of it. You buck him off about a mile down the road. Because I can talk. I can talk to animals. Is one of my perks <laughs> that Chad has given me. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of reels its upper lip up a couple of times to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> whatever you say. I'm just gonna put my nose, put my hand over his nose, let him lick the salt from my hand from all the crap that I've been eating for the last uh, hour. Mm, you have pretzels? Mm. <clears throat> Ramen was cheap to spring for the pretzels. We're all mm. good. Whoa, what was that? As he gets a, definitely a clump of the Reverend's dirt off your hand there. Mm. Oh, careful, he's vegan. Don't you worry, that's holy dirt. <laughs> <laughs> I will cast the chef's feast card. Um, <laughs> so I guess technically your mule gets it as well. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. You know, I always figured he was kind of a jackass. Does this mule have a oh. name? Don't care. Um, I mean, I, I haven't really ever really named my mule. Um, you know, I think... You know, maybe that's something we could look forward to. Maybe you could help me out uh, when, when we get drinks. Its name maybe is Charlene! If I show up, it's for an appointment, not for a date. You know that. My husband well, just died. Well, yeah, no, I, I, that's what I'm saying is, is we have an appointment for drinks. <laughs> Hop under a horse. Will or Charlene, you getting going? Let's go, Charlene. Oh, it just like barely moves. Whoa, it just it starts running <laughs> slowly. Please give me an animal handling check, Doctor Live. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is gonna be great. Come on, baby, this is this is gonna be fantastic. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> you land on your tailbone so hard about oh. five, six strides head to the oh. south of town. He just clips a little bit far to the right. One bounce and you're off down. No, oh. oh, no, I help. I've fallen and I can't get up. Ow. I just, I just look at the, oh, I said a mile. Oh, <laughs> uh, all right. Uh. Charlene, hold on. Uh, gets back up. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Pulls out the test tool. <laughs> just sets it down. All right, hold on. <laughs> Climbs back up. Uh, could, could one of you? Can one of you help me get that, please? I, I need it, or else I can't. I can't get on the whole. I can't get on the the, the, the mule. For crying out loud! If y'all going to help him, I'll help him. So I try clamber off my horse and get the stool and lay it out next to the saddle pull him it's up okay, by his it's arm okay. ellie i don't i don't mean you know it's fine you can stay there i know you probably have a hard time balancing and you know seeing so it's fine um right <laughs> grab there it, you go. Puts it puts come it on dog. Thank get you. up let's thank go thank you very much thank you all right um i i i promise i won't slow us down any further okay 
<laughs> fold up the stool and hand it to you. <laughs> I lean over to the mule. Just, just, just let him ride. <laughs> Go back to my horse. All right, Charlene. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right, let's let's go. That is the most exciting ride that man has ever been on. <laughs> no doubt. It's got to be the so first far. thing that's been between his legs. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not wrong. I really do not want to inquire more about what's happened between that man's legs or not. <laughs> Does not interest me. Well, you'll be able to yeah. tell us Tuesday evening after oh. the drinks. <laughs> I'm going to send you in my stead. You can put on one of my pretty dresses and you can go get that fancy drink. I won't show him the hairy man. I'll show him my hairy asshole. If you <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. Ellie Mae, what are we doing? Chasing after some child that's not even old? <laughs> Not even, no. It's a, it's a great adventure, though. We do, we haven't got our deputy badges yet. Don't forget, I want a goddamn badge out of this. That'll come in handy one day to have that pretty little medal on us. Oh, yeah, it's going to be wonderful when we finally get to the great state of Texas. Yeah, if we ever cross that border, we're going to be real stars over there. <laughs> no one ever told me. Truth and Consequences, New Mexico. Oh. More like beggars and dipshits. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've made sure that we are going to get ourselves a full dining and sleeping cot because I'm not done drinking yet. Thank you. We are no, not, not. We are not traveling in the back of the goddamn train. <laughs> well, if you wanted, you could put the con doctor back there for us. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Maybe, what if I told him that his sleeper is actually in the cold? Because we're right in the front. What if I told him that we? it's so good that he gets to, it, he actually can ride on the coal up front. Like it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a benefit. It's like a, uh, uh, it's a sunroom. It's sun exclusive. Room. It's yeah, a, the sunroom. It's an exclusive sunroom. He used to go see how all of it works or uh, something like that. No, this is, <laughs> Pawn him off better than hopping onto his little step stool pony over there. <laughs> then the conductor can hear him ramble about him, and he can set an appointment for, for Tuesday to check his temperature. Tell him he's got him. The train noise is up at the front. <laughs> ah, this is a wonderful plan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to pick back up all inside that drinking cart on the train we have our tickets full sleeper and a whole car that we've we've purchased just to party in not that i've ever done this on the way to new orleans <laughs> never it's, it's fantastic time one to sleep in one to party in <laughs> good plans good plans yeah <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Well, this is the way to travel. I must say, perfect plans here. It's not my first rodeo, Ellie Bay. <laughs> rodeo. <laughs> All right. Well, I have to say, I don't think I've ever sat in one of these before, so I'm feeling pretty high right now. It's a little keep breaking in. There's a funny thing. Unlike the Warby Dawns, they won't cut you off here impressive they just keep bringing more booze now this this is leaving that high class i always wondered what this would be like Ugh. how about the rest of y'all you ever been in one of these fancy carts before yes i'll tell you right now you lived here you'd be home by now <clears throat> yes Oh, well, I mean, yeah. We wouldn't have to worry, worry about worry about trains like this. But I tell you, it's a, it's a nice place to stay. It seems a bit a bit extravagant to go just a few miles. I feel we could have ridden on horseback. Honestly, I'm real surprised to hear that from you. 
Oh, he had actually, to pay, no. He had, to, he, had to, he had to pay for his own ticket. <laughs> uh, I actually, uh, you, you know, I, I misspoke earlier. It's a few hundred. Um, I, it was a mistake. I, I apologize. I'm sorry. What's a few hundred? What? M miles. Nothing. Between where we, uh, where we are and miles. where we need to be. Well, where, is, is, where is this? Where is this ranch in Texas? Oh, I was, I, it was, it was, it was like, it was a joke. I was trying to be funny. I'm sorry. I'm not very, um, it's not like I'm, I was just trying to make a, like you, you all laugh. Do you um, know where we're going? Do I know where I'm going? Uh, it literally says, um, Northwest of the city, a few miles. That's, that's all I have to go off of. I mean, if you're doing the Jasper a few miles, I mean, he was an old man, lived by himself with a couple of rocks. That could have been anywhere between two and 200 miles. This actually works out fantastic because it goes right through Gila Monster Country. That's what I came out here for. I'm sorry, a what? A oh, Gila, Gila Monster. Gila Monster. Yes. A man. Ellie, you, Miss, excuse me, Miss Ellie, have you ever seen a Gila Monster? I have not, and it does not sound like I want to. They're fine. Giant, ugly beast. Teeth. Bite savagely to your flesh and tear it apart. Man eater of New Mexico. Why are we out here in Gila Monster territory? Probably had a Gila Monster farm out here. This is why no one wanted to go to his land. It's probably in, in completely saturated with Elas. Probably why the old bastard talked to rocks because everything else was trying to eat his ass. The poison set it over time, deteriorated his brain. Just enough to sleep with Ellie. <laughs> I will wait. Hold on. Your shin slash balls again, if you'd like <laughs> me to. Where did he, Ellie? <laughs> did I sleep through that? <laughs> Good God, Marley! <sighs> A man must have had too much drinking to pay attention. Jeremiah, to what's going on. I'm Jeremiah sorry, hears in his head. I'm uh, sorry. No one else. He, but he's just he is here in your head. When did I sleep with Ellie? <laughs> <laughs> Why wow, wasn't I there demon. for it? <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to use you to buy my own private cart if you're not if you're not quiet. Are you talking to yourself over there? No, I'm exercising the demons on this car. Oh, don't please, don't interrupt the Lord's work. Lord, entertain us with these demons on the car. What are what oh, are one? Please, think there are demons. Oh, if you could bless should, uh, bless should, our absolutely. car, please, before oh, we take off. Oh, please, please, please. Dear, Lord. Dear, Lord. Dear, dear Lord, dear Lord, dear Lord, dear Lord, this cart. Well, if that's how you're going to be disrespecting the Lord, then yeah, you can go to hell. No, we just all oh. speak to him in our own different way, Reverend. It's okay. Dear Lord, bless these sinners, especially this woeful, one-eyed wench. Oh, man. Zing, oh, man, that's hurt. How, how, how sweet. How bless the journey. The bless our food and beverage as we are here. That's that's absolutely. But once again... I'm living a beverage car. Oh, wow. What did I do that was so special? <laughs> like me. Oh, like him. Dote on me. Like Deliver me. us onto our desired destination. Should you I choose to take one of us on the journey as the eyes, Ellie, he, that will be your uh, will. Now. Yeah, well, I hope it's not Ellie. I have lead to your will, so you better. I have a date on your Tuesday. Your will is irrelevant. Right. Would you quit your hallelujahs? Sorry, I, I was lost in a moment there with the Lord. Thank you, thank you, Reverend Jeremiah, for bringing me closer to my God. Yes, well, I must, I must uh, inform you that the Lord uh, uh, hates contemporary music. <laughs> It's a good thing that we fired this banjo player specifically for the cart. There's nothing contemporary about it. His name is Steve Martin. Classic. <laughs> Putting out a Texas Ranger warrant for Steve Martin. Cause and violation of the Lord, as written by Reverend Jeremiah. <laughs> I'll mail this back to headquarters soon. 
we'll rope that some bitch in for you there, sir. May the Lord's will be done. Amen. And also, and and also with you. Yep. And done with you. Yeah. And all isn't that isn't that and also with you, right? Well, or it's something? when you say like, "May the Lord be with you." Oh, uh, oh, right. And and also, and also with you guys. Yep. There you go. Miss Ellie, he was paying you a compliment. He was trying to he's trying to rebless you after you blessed him. <sighs> Well, let's be honest. When that man and those, well, any of y'all, bless me, it never turns out nice for me. I just remember every night, like a small reading, we'll read from Leviticus 1929. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause <laughs> her to be a whore. Lest the land fall to whoredom. And the land become full of oh, wickedness. Full of weakness. Yes, I know. I know. It's just sitting heavy on my mind. As I it's one of, my, one of my favorite verses. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't y'all pick something easy like Isaiah 41 and fear not for I'm with you? I mean, oh, damn. He's memorized. <laughs> I cut Miss Ellie May, I am a man of God. You have to understand, I bring many men to hold, but I still hold my religion true. For I am a man of God, strengthen you, help you, uphold you with my righteous right hand. Leviticus 21.9 And the daughter of any priest, if she profane herself by playing the whore, she profane her father, she shall be burnt with fire. Amen. Well, these are, Amen. I feel like these are words tracks. to live by, but uh, I have to say, if 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 there was one <laughs> one verse I think that fit the moment, uh, it's this: as if the Reverend reaches behind the the bar cart and grabs a bottle that's behind the bar, and he's <laughs> according to Revelations, to the thirsty I will give water without cost from the spring of the water of life. As he just pops a cork on a on a whiskey bottle <laughs> that he's stolen from the bar cart. Amen, 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 amen. I really feel like we're 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 ready to go. Um, All right, we're, give to a lot the poor, of lot of then. a lot of daughters. Oh, um, glass. Uh, Ellie, are you are you Jeremiah's daughter? I didn't mean I I didn't know. Yeah. Sure, I'm his daughter. I'm his daughter. I'm... <laughs> Look at that man. Look at you. Yeah, that, that's my pop. She can't sure. be. She hasn't burst into flames yet. I was promised by this. <laughs> Look at that. Oh God, that cat is still unconscious. You brought it. <laughs> you brought it with you. You it's... never know when you're going to need one of them crazy cats to do your bidding. Do you I mean, this one is so pretty. Look at her. Look at her. She's so pretty. She's still unconscious. She probably hasn't been breathing for six hours now. I, wait, a breathing and purring are the same, right? Because I, I I hear something. That bug guy wakes up. You you would be prepared to take care of it. A wild take beast that you have there. I talked to her and she. I will tell her that we need to kill some bad people, won't we? Yes. You, you can't talk to the unconscious cat. When she wakes up, we're going. You, you, you mark me right now. I'll tell you, we're going to need a bobcat in this next fight. Of course, every good fight has a bobcat. What else? Did you Classic. see? Classic. Did you see? Did you see that demon and shot us on that horse? <laughs> but were you even there in that bar? Probably not. Actually, I know you were there because I saw you while I was hanging from the ceiling. But <laughs> regardless. Still, we're gonna need every bit of help we can get. Well, if you can keep that bobcat under control, then it works for me. If I can't talk her down, well, then you can kill her, all right? Good. That's your kitty cat. You gotta take care of your kitties. I, have, I got first dibs on killing that thing. Well, there you have I, it for his collection. Until then, we got a bobcat asleep, just waiting for us to set her loose. Good girl. <laughs> Why has this 
For God's sakes, why is this cart not taken off yet? We've been sitting here, we're damn near halfway through this bottle of Tito's, this fine handcrafted Texas vodka that somehow made its way to truth and consequences. Doctor, why don't you go to the head cart, find out what's going on? I will, I want to move this thing along. We got to get it. We are oh, in the- gosh. Yeah, the front. I'm that sure it's real exciting up there. <laughs> There'll be some fun, pretty little buttons and triggers. Maybe if you talk to the conductor, they'll let you uh, stand up there. Why Why would I want to stand up there, though? That's where the conductors conduct. Well, maybe he'd love to have a conversation with them. I hear that they get pretty lonely. And as our doctor, you could really mm -hmm. provide some support for them. Oh, well, normally when I'm when I'm writing these, I, I usually have my own private cart. Um, so I, I prefer to like, you know, stick with that i'm just i'm i for the sake of companionship i'm uh, i'm you know sharing this cart with you all but normally i would uh, have my own cart because i i generally like to have my space uh outside of my regularly uh scheduled office hours um but if you'd like i can take a peek uh, uh up uh, towards the front of the uh of the train you know doctor i gotta ask you how often do you actually see people you don't seem like the social kind um, well, I mean, you know, I think it really kind of depends on how busy, um, you know, and, and, and how many people need help and need, and no, need my, um, my medical no, assistance. No, yeah. that's yeah, not actually. what we're talking about. Not your patients. Well, okay. How many non-patients do you see? Non, non-patients. Um, I mean, I, I don't know. I see, I see a lot of people, uh, every day. You know what? How about you just stay here and have a drink with us? We'll see oh. Jeremiah. God, someone go and check on this goddamn train. I, 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 I go, with, I, I, go be Jer responsible for once and go do something about this not moving. Reverend Jeremiah and I will go. Come on, Jeremiah, let's go up to the front and yes, see if we can find we'll, out what's going on. We'll sort this out and carry on with God's work. There. My God help this all if you speak. Doctor, pour us all a drink. Uh, oh, sure. Yeah, I, like I said, I'm, I'm more of a man of science um, than, you know, the Lord's work. But, you know, sure. Uh, 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 ladies and gentlemen, I regret to inform you that this train has been canceled. We're gonna need everybody just to sit tight for a second here while we get things sorted out. You just hear a solitary gunshot. Oh, oh dear no. God. Oh. If, the, if, if the conductor is dead, how will we get our refund? Our delay is gonna take so much longer now. <laughs> what in there? Was that a gunshot? Oh no, I don't like guns very much. That was Jeremiah, a gunshot. You're pretty dumb if you think we're getting money out of this train ride. Right? I'll tell you right now, they're robbing this train. Whoever they are, they're gonna have to pay. And I'm gonna need all y'all come with me because we're moving forward out of this car. That includes you, Dr. Live. You got a gun, you reach for it. We're going forward from here. I'm not sure if I'm all for this little justice angle, but you know, and I don't really want to be robbed. So I say we cut this up real quick. We move car to car all the way to the engine together. That's how we do it. Anybody look at us ugly, we shoot them. Got it. Oh, and if they're ugly. And if they're ugly. Monster if if mind. they're armed and they're ugly, yes. Don't shoot any civilians, please. Except the ugly ones, we'd be doing a good good benefit to society. Ellie, if they were, never mind. It's fine. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to be in charge of shooting anybody. I'll just fire the second shot. Deal. Marley, as your Texas Ranger instincts kick in, take a peek outside that window leaning down to look outside of this train as the steam is bellowing out 
hearing all the sounds of a train ready to back out of the station. Oh God, 16 ain't gonna get there, does it? 16. You lean out that window to take a peek. You see two gunmen and bandanas and black hats popping down off the side of that train. Just listening in. You heard what the goddamn boss said. This train is his. Don't matter. We'll be shoveling cold the whole goddamn time. He said, keep them carts all locked up. Go around, lock them up. We don't need anybody need causing any trouble. Better yet, in between shoveling and go rob their ass on the way there. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, seems like they're gonna lock down this train. They're looking to cause some trouble. They're gonna rob everybody on the way out. This ain't their final destination. They're doing this for a purpose. <sighs> All right, let's go be good guys, I suppose. Ellie May, I'm gonna need you at the door with our good friend here, the Huntsman. And when they come to lock that door, I want you to kick it open and shoot them in the face. I do like that plan. All right. Study yourselves! Oh, okay. Uh, and the doctor will put on like this like glove on his like right hand uh, and he'll just like throw his hand like this over and I'm gonna cast mage armor on myself. Oh, oh man. <laughs> hey, hey doc, I want, you, I want you by the window. I want you to bitch and complain as loud as you can about how this delay is keeping you from seeing your poor dear sweet mommy. But 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 when when they Shut like, up. shoot up! I don't me? I don't want any excuses. I just want you to do what I tell you to. Right oh. now, you're going to be the diversion. Because oh, okay. when them two sons of bitches come to lock this door, they're going to shoot him. And if you don't do your job, they're going to lock that door. And we're going to be locked into this son of a bitch. You hear oh, me? Okay. Uh, sure. Yeah. Okay. It's going to um, be all your goddamn oh. fault. Man, I'm I'm not going to make it to see my 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 grandmother. My grandmother is going to be. Ill, hell, and I hell with your grandmother. Have, it's your mother. Lead my mother. It, damn it. <laughs> my mother is. Uh, I have so much money. My mother is going to need it. Um, for I, my. God, my, for God's sake, somebody gag him! <laughs> All right, Marley, Ellie, <laughs> we need you to roll stealth as you guys are waiting up on that door. <laughs> uh, the is not a lot of stealth. Yeah. It's your knees. It's hard getting low. A six and a ten waiting six. at the door. Oh, God. Perfect. We're just talking real loud. Guys, am I doing it right? Do you think they believe that I have a mother? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I had you distracted. I figured we were going to be low. I needed that advantage. <laughs> it's you guys <laughs> lay there crouched. The two gunmen strolling up to your door. Excuse me. Excuse me. Ma'am, we're gonna need you to sit back down in your seat. We gotta lock all these cars down. I'm sorry, are they talking to us? But, but my mother, she is very ill and I um need to get to her, sir. With the scary gun. Clinks that pistol up against the window get the hell back you pansy boy 
Oh, uh, yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just no, uh, no, okay. Don't. I, I, I bruise easily. Uh, just please, you know, not the face. And, and you know, um, that's all I ask. One guy rolls up to it <sighs> with his <laughs> dip oh. spit in his nose. <sighs> he blows in it like the raptor at the scene <laughs> of Jurassic Park. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> bad dog, bad dog. As he lets go, a handful of barks. <laughs> Your cat pops its head up. It will go on your initiative, Marley. Oh. Get it, Fortuna. Get it. <laughs> He's gonna be the one that gets all the kills. Why? <laughs> Can't kill him. I'm fine. We're gonna go. Is this way? Let me pull my gun and point it to the window. We need everybody to roll for initiative. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap! That's great. <laughs> I love that I have a cat that I've been, you know, just wooing. It's <laughs> 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 part of my initiative. <laughs> I rolled a five. <laughs> okay. Here's where Cap comes in with those high, oh. those rolls, those roll for those NPCs. Fuck me, Brampton. Good God, and I got a I got a plus five on this bad boy, and I still suck. All right, here we go. Black hats first roll in. Ooh, let's go. We'll take it. We'll take an eleven on them. Let's see about the white hat bandits over here on the other side. There they go. That was so slow. There they are. Take it. We'll take it. That ain't bad. That ain't bad, Chief. Oh, yeah. I got to label you. Yeah, I got to give you your. Uh, yep. God, this is this is this is a straight shitty Jack Daniels ad. Man, uh -huh. this is for Cowboys of the Night. Aged <laughs> seven years in the Highland toasted Highland whiskey barrels. Reserved You're a hard only working man. You the hard working man. Kick your dog. <laughs> After a long day of work, you just want to throw a TV through a garbage truck. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of man who lives in Leviticus, 1929. <laughs> the kind of man that has his own wood shop with a dartboard in it where you and your friends <laughs> hang out. <laughs> oh, what's Dr. Live's role? Uh, mine was five. Boom. Go refill your beverages. We'll get this shit kicking when you guys get back. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> oh, thank you guys for joining us on some seriously silly shit. Good times. <laughs> Glad you guys are enjoying the RP, man. When it's it's fun when you got silly one-off characters, you can be really, really ridiculous, and you can let the comedy fly. That's for sure. 
<laughs> oh man. Yo, Wizzo, thank you for those bits. Appreciate it. <laughs> this is a good refresher after all that serious RP we've been at. <laughs> Legit's character is ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, we got Fortuna in the game. How about that? Oh, I gotta pull up Fortuna's card. Let's go ahead and send that to me when you got a moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ow. <laughs> I mean, it only it only makes sense. We've had uh, we've had the uh, the mud and caustic dog family make an appearance before. I'll never forget fighting that in Torment's Quest. It didn't last long. I don't expect I don't I don't expect uh, Fortuna's avatar to last long either. But damn it, she's gonna be effective. Uh, not like I, I got her like we're using a crag cat. Oh crap! We're using a crag <laughs> cat. Powerful. I'm telling you, she's gonna she, nail every hit. She's got 34 HP. She's got pounce. Spell turning? This cat has advantage on saving throws against spells that target the cat? What the hell? Well, that, cat, that cat's more, more combat ready than, than I am. <laughs> Got a bite and a claw attack. Let's go. Oh my God. That's hilarious. <laughs> well, that looks like a scrumptious uh, uh, tr treat there, Ellie. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, look at this freaking art of this train station it is oh, gorgeous by the way yeah. shit it yeah, is cool it's real nice as soon as it resolved for me i was looking around like i've been watching snowpiercer lately so it's like i'm into the whole train aesthetic this is mm -hmm. gorgeous that does look good i like the colors used it's uh it's wonderful i think it's really great It'd be better if i didn't die in it um <laughs> triple unicorn express it surely is pretty. You know, I don't, I don't recommend taking a bite of a donut and then having a drink of scotch. Oh God! Ooh! Oh Not God! That, that sounds terrible in every Try way. Try the scotch form. and then the donut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Try that. Wrong, wrong way around. I can tell you that. <laughs> Beverage time. Do it. Mm -hmm. Do it. Mm -hmm. Just do it. Mm -hmm. I, I hope you Try all a donut, enjoy chocolate, a chocolate cake donut with glaze on it. Do you guys like uh, 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 Dr. Live better or did, did you like Jasper better? They're both entertaining. I have to say <laughs> <They're> both incredibly entertaining. <laughs> Which one do you enjoy playing more? Oh, you know, I, I think, you know, really, I, you know, both of them have their, their, their fun, fun pieces, you know, I just, you know, I think, you know, I'm just kind of high strung, um, in this one a lot. And Jasper's just kind of, uh, you know, a woman charmer, uh, as they say. Is this a, is this a preview of your next character? Absolutely not. I couldn't do this for that long. <laughs> this is this two years. This is what you got to do. Yeah, absolutely. This is, this I mean, is I the could, voice you got to roll with. You know, I could. But uh, I, I don't think this is who, who, who you guys are going to see tomorrow. I mean, we're not going to see anybody tomorrow. We're going to talk about it, but we'll see. No, well, you know. No reveals. No reveals. Oh, I don't even know how much I want to talk about my character. Oh, you guys like my name? Hush. <laughs> Thanks. I, I like my name, too. I, I picked it out myself. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Are you just going to girl on the spit? Did, did you think about yourself? Did you really? Did you? Did you though? I did. Must be all those people I see that aren't my patients. <laughs> uh, I mean, are these the people you don't you see on every other day other than Tuesday? Yeah. Well, uh. you know, look, I have my office hours and then I have my not office hours. <laughs> my office hours are on Tuesdays. I've got the night cleared currently. Good. 
we're gonna need your nights cleared and your days cleared because guess what we're rolling into combat baby let's go here we go absolutely i am a pacifist <laughs> yeah that sounds about right <laughs> well you can just try to knock him out instead uh, dr live was pronounced dr live it's french live it's dr live chat, chat thinks that it's actually dr oh. evil there's some, sin <laughs> there's some sinister intentions here. <laughs> Dr. I mean, Evil. He should have had Why the make millions when you can make billion, bill millions, thousands? Yeah, I, I don't know. Right. Anyway. Why, why make billions when you can <laughs> when make, you can make millions? millions. <laughs> <laughs> Big fan. Love your work. Write me. Mm. <laughs> wow. My name is now DeHarts. <laughs> we all know how that worked out. Yes, we do. Were you there? No. I don't know. That was that was a very drunk night. That was drunk <laughs> night early morning. It was. <laughs> a drunk night that went till four in the morning West Coast time. <laughs> That's a long time. Mm -hmm. Gotta say, no, no more, no more campaign on Friday. It's gonna have to. Gotta, gotta rain in the, gotta rain in the, the drinks. <laughs> Only Wednesday, Thursday now. No, just gotta get drunk Wednesdays and Thursdays. Amen. I mean, that's that is. Preach it, brother Jeremiah. Yeah, I want to hear from the heavens. You, know, you just don't drink on Fridays. <laughs> isn't that like? Never mind. I was gonna say that. That's that's going to get some law somewhere, isn't it? Probably. Who knows what the future holds for any of us? Bobo knows. Someone probably does. Just I'm just uh, doing really my best uh, like to, that. you know. You know, no well, one's can, forcing you can, me to wear it. You can, you can. The character it you can't, you can just role play that you're wearing an eye patch. Yeah. Actually wearing an eye patch. This helps. The great thing about this all is that it's it's make believe. Uh, oh, yeah, it's not but, real. <laughs> By the way, Caustic, how how is that eye patch working out for your dark vision on that uh, left eye of yours? It's super weird. <laughs> it is nice when I enter a room with no lights. I can just switch eyes, so <laughs> yeah, working for them. I'll just open this one now. It just it works out pretty well, actually. <laughs> Stupidly so. But in That's most all. situations, it feels ridiculous. I may just have everyone forever. This is just who I am now. <laughs> you are Mud Cat Eye Patch Caustic Phoenix. Yes. Pirate cosplay. Did you turn the eye patch inside out? No. Did I? Yes. Dang it. No, it's just covered. I think the hair's oh, covering the X. Yeah, there it is. Oh, okay. I can't tell. I don't know. I don't, want this, no what, so. I don't want this stupid X on my face. I'm going to turn it inside out. No one gets to see how bad this looks. Popcorn is winning tonight. I really miss popcorn. Mainly the salt and the fluffiness of the popcorn. So did I tell you what I do with my popcorn? So I cook bacon. I cook a full pound of bacon. And then I pull the bacon out and leave the grease and then I cook the popcorn and the bacon grease. And then I will dump salt and truffle butter on top of that with the bacon. So hey, good. that can is so cool. <laughs> oh, look at that Captain Dynamite can. There it is. That is a very delicious IPA. Like I enjoyed higher plane, but I mean, a couple of higher plane and you'll you'll start to swerve. <laughs> a couple of those and you're, you're in the place. <laughs> That's my secret. I'm always drunk. I'm always drunk. <laughs> that explains a lot of decisions for tonight. Oh my God! It's Th Thomas Yardbird Marley. Are you really at the top of the initiative order? And that's the way it happens. As a as a side note, now D and D Beyond has updated, so you can see your campaign. Yes. At the top, and and you can see a role of people in that campaign. There's a roll log. It's always been there. No, no, this no, is brand new. new. No, it's new. You can see everybody in the campaign. 
I can I can see everyone in the campaign now. I can click on the different characters, and I can see like when radio was rolling earlier. Like there's it's like roll twenty. Yeah, it's real hmm. cool. It's that little red oh red red dash or whatever. Oh, now. okay. I, I see what you're talking about. There it is. Custom roll, custom roll, custom roll. That's mm -hmm. cool. If you, if you click if you click just to the left, you can see all the characters in this campaign, even the ones that we're not playing right now. And you could click on them oh. and go to your character sheet. Well, that's that's really cool. Ooh, D &D look Beyond. at you, D and D Beyond. Mm -hmm. As soon as you can give us a green screen overlay, I would love to use you. All right, Yardbird, you lead off. Don't fuck this up. <laughs> Cat, kill him. <laughs> he, he's uh, he's he's sick. He's sick of the cat on that one right there. Who's right in front of him? Door's still open though. Cat can't open that door yet. Oh, the door's not open? Door's the door's not door's open, open yet. They were not, remember, snorting on it. They're trying to lock the doors. Oh, shit. I thought the, I thought the doors well, were open. Don't worry, the cat can go them. after you, so. Oh, crap. All right, no, the cat's going to have to go after me. Well, shit. I mean, I got to I gotta choose. I got to choose to pull the doors open now. Oh, mother of God. Strength ain't my, strength ain't my, my deal right now. It's a train. Like, it's, they're not up. locked, radio. You're, you're you getting ready me? to lock it. Yeah. Why are you it's yeah. just a train car door. It just opens. You don't have to roll. It's just. <laughs> you you, you <laughs> open the door. I'm, I'm lost in my white team combat. What is Will Bear trying to do to me? <laughs> well, less, no, 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 no. He pulls less. when he should push. Less, yeah. <laughs> less noise in my head. What you're saying is right now, I can open the door and I can shoot the guy in front of me with my shotgun. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> you found his weakness, you motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, you have the capability of opening a door. I'm pretty sure. The Bob this is not it, level 12 combat. You're right. I don't know. Did, you didn't see what Fortuna did to that door right there when she wanted in the house. She literally opened it her goddamn self. So it's her favorite terrain, though. This cat ain't been on a train before. <laughs> that we know of. Did you say, just say the it's train the is cat. the terrain? <laughs> terrain. Yes. I hate so, you. The train I'm, is the I'm, terrain. Uh, you die first. <laughs> <laughs> Using my bonus action Eight to, to five, the God damn train it. door. Eight to five dollars. Open. And as uh, as target in front of me comes into sight, I'm going to shoot at him with my ready scatter gun, shotgun in hand. Roll incoming. 23 to hit. Better than yours in neon. That'll hit. <laughs> oh, oh yard bird. Already doing a crap ton more damage. Why are you, you going to hurt me like that? I mean, really, please. I mean, it's, it's Waz is still so close to my heart. Here we go. First shot. That's good because he ain't on a hard drive anymore. Oh, 15 points of piercing damage. Ah, my gut, you son of a bitch. It's not a double barrel, is it? What kind of shotgun is this? I want to see if I can fire it again. I mean, if it's a double barrel, then I can shoot the other, the other uh, barrel out of it, right? Not at the same time, but separate. I don't know. It's I literally have shotgun on here. I don't have double barrel. I don't have any notes on it. No, it's not a sold off or anything. So, uh, actually, you're at disadvantage right now because this is a regular shotgun. I mean, that close. There's no disadvantage with a shotgun, is there? I mean, he's yeah. Two, you need, he's you need two the, feet away from me. You need the sold, sold off variety to not have disadvantage. Oh, all within right. five feet. You gotta oh, have a. Uh, you gotta have a. You got the feet. You got a blunder. You gotta have a blunderbuss or a sold off shotgun for five feet. Got it. Do you have the gunner feet on your character? Do you uh, want it? Do you want it to be a sold off shotgun? <laughs> like. Uh, yeah, let's just make it a sawed-off shotgun. I mean, uh, why, why, why would I carry two pistols and a uh, 
two pistols and something that shoots <laughs> far like a shotgun. Of course, it's going to be a sawed-off shotgun. I'm making that note on my uh, my my cheat right now. That's a sawed-off shotgun. That that connects. There, there is one. I have a sawed-off shotgun. It is there is one available in D and D Beyond. Yeah, it's it's there. And I think it's the same thing. It's two D eight, right? Yeah, two D eight plus two. It's literally the same thing. Blunderbuss, sawed-off shotgun, same shit. <laughs> there you go. There it is. Shot off shotgun, it's 15 points thing. piercing damage, dropped. <laughs> Got it, next shot. Oh, where are you at, where are you at, where are you at? There it is, come on, come up. Thank you very much. No, 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 no. There D it is. D20. Yeah, I'm rolling it. I'm trying, I'm literally trying to get the plus on there. <laughs> 17. 17 will hit. <laughs> That'll be a whopping nine points piercing damage. Hanging on by a thread after you gut shot him twice. Ugh. It will take your bonus action to reload the double barrel sawed off. Got it. Okay. Um, did it take my bonus action to open up the door? No. Okay, cool. Then I'm going to use my bonus action to reload. <laughs> <laughs> I want him to I want him to be like prison for him to text me and be like, is this a bonus action for me to take a shit, Robert? Is this a bonus <laughs> action for me to wipe my ass, Robert? No red, just use the restroom. <laughs> not, Good I'm, not, double check, though. I'm not used to this minimum security. Maximum security makes me ask for everything, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what do you want to do with your bonus action? A, a bonus action. I'm reloading, and uh, and and <laughs> I'm, 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 and and then as I finish, I'm gonna look at him and go, "Cat, finish him off." You have so Crackcat, Crackcat's gonna go attack the guy that we just uh, that I was just shot. Yardbird, you got control of Crackcat. Yeehaw! <laughs> Let's go put no! him on top of him. He's, he's literally going to run off and leap and and, uh, and attack him. Did you send me a card for this Crackcat so I know what my attack is, or are you just gonna tell me on my rolls? No, I put it in chat. You just. Didn't didn't pick it up. <laughs> Here you go. Well, I mean that that's pretty much. Oh, there is. Yeah. There's chat. There's a uh, D&D partners chat. Roll, roll and... a D twenty. You're right, calling perfect. and you're biting. Oh, Clawing actually, biting. This, this is a pounce attack. They got to make a DC uh, thirteen strength saving throw or be knocked prone. Yup. Plus two. Oh, oh some oh, bitch. Oh, God, God, this God, this cat's on me. Ah! Locked onto his vest. Plus five on these rolls. Plus five. That'll be 18 on the first one. <laughs> 18 will hit. <laughs> one, one D10 on the claw. Yeah. Let's no, get one, D8, one D8 on the claw. All right. Well, then, then never, ignore that six. <laughs> Come on, baby. Let's go. Roll it out. Anytime now. Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh! Max damage. D T D. Yeah. <laughs> For Fortuna. I this, this cat. This cat just comes up from this twilight sleep, looks at Yardbird, and understands for some reason what he's saying, and just instantly digs into the ground, claws, pounces on top of this thing, and just rips it apart. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, Ellie Mae, she's a good cat. I told you it was a ferocious beast. <laughs> <laughs> Still got its bite attack hanging on to this vest. It's it's going for a bite attack on uh, the guy across from Ellie Mae right now. Yep. I mean, <laughs> no one it. else to attack. Oh, no. No. <laughs> it's not for on. lack of trying. It's just because this body falls over and hits the ground and it reaches out for a bite. <laughs> Good kitty. <laughs> Reverend, it is your turn. 
Uh, this guy next to me, is he through a door or a window or what's up here? <clears throat> He's on the door on the outside. Uh, but this guy right here is the one who's blowing snot bubbles like, like a dinosaur. Okay. <laughs> so but this guy can walk through the door to, to get to this guy? Yeah, you just got to open it up. Okay. No action required. It's just a door. All right. I will open the door and peek my head out and good afternoon, son. This is a mighty dangerous and that you are undertaking. So allow me to give you the Lord's blessing for your safety. And uh, I will reach out to uh, to touch him. May the Lord mark you. And let me... Uh, oh, God damn. Get your dirty ass hands off me. I, I oh, reach out and touch, touch his arm and it's a uh, 25 to hit. <laughs> as, I, as, I, as I cast inflict wounds, oh. uh, forming a stigmata. <laughs> Oh my, gosh. oh my god. He's You're got the ringworm. Look, it's as growing his, on me right hands, now. As his hands and feet start to start to have holes <laughs> decayed in them. Ugh. Looks like a brown or clues bit me, son of a bitch. 16 16 <laughs> necrotic damage. Uh 16 necrotic damage. Well, it seems the seems you have fallen out of the Lord's favor. And then I'm gonna raise my revolver action Ooh. oh shit let me see I got anything else mm -mm -mm -mm. that is a 10 to hit I don't think that'll hit mm -mm. Bum, bum, bum. let me double check that I don't have anything to reroll or anything like that mm -mm. firearm specialist doesn't do anything no, I think the I'll fumble I'll fumble the revolver. And that's it. Oh, I can't get this shit off of me, Jim. Alright. White hat bandits turned. This old boy, he's going to swivel his sawed off shotgun and point it over at you. He's going to stop bubbing, blowing snot bubbles in front of the doctor. <laughs> 18 to hit. That will hit. Oh! oh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, shit. Did you get for? critted the last time? Wait, hold on. Why was he, he was always rolling both barrels? Yeah, both barrels. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did get critical last time. <laughs> it's fine. Everything is fine. It's fine. It'd be eight, then 16. Oh, God. Hit me with it. 4d8 plus 24. What did the chef's fees give us? Uh, oh, yeah. We know. 14 temporary hit points. That's a good thing to know right now. <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh, yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. Oh, I got, I got an action surge for Snot Bubble? Let's go. <laughs> no, you did not give Snot Bubble an action surge. <laughs> you son of a... <laughs> Here comes that roll. Woo. 42, 42 points. You're lucky you got the one on there. Uh, all right, all right. Fantastic. That's pretty nasty. I'd love to see it. Bonus action. Reload. Watch this, motherfucker. Kicks open the other door. Sayonara, bitch. He's going to unload two shots at Dr. Live. I'm just here. <laughs> <laughs> he crits. <laughs> oh, shit. Is he a champion? He's a champion. Sick. Oh, yeah. I'm going <laughs> to <He's> die. <laughs> oh, God. Second shot. Oh, that 19 was looming again. 48 plus 24 on the doctor. 
Oh, oh God. <laughs> 49 points. <laughs> How Good God. are you <laughs> One second. I got to do some math. <laughs> okay, so there's that. And then. Yeah, that hurts. <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> Combat. That hurts. <laughs> All right. All right. That'll be the end of old uh, Snot Bubbles' turn. Ellie May. All right. That door's open. That black hat's right there. We're gonna shoot that robber. <laughs> First shot. Uh, oh, I was. Never mind. Yeah. What's up? No, go for it. I was gonna do something, but I was still calculating. Can I? Am I able to do something with my reaction? Yeah, what are you using for your reaction? Oh, uh, I will. Uh, I will just like shoots me like I told you I was an innocent doctor. Now, now burn, motherfucker. And I'm going to use hellish rebuke. <laughs> <laughs> just send, send the, the fires what? of hell at him. That's not <laughs> bubbles. <laughs> yeah, he's a goddamn uh, demon. This <laughs> preacher's got a whole card worth of demons. So he does a, a, a deck 16. Oh. <laughs> All right, so he'll take half of this. Snot Bubbles the raid boss. So he'll take uh, 11 fire damage. Ooh, ooh. Got it. It's a really crappy roll there. A one, a two, and a two. Come on! Ow, okay. Ellie Mae, it is no. your turn. Now it's my turn. All right, first hit with that shot, shot, sawed off shotgun. 21. Ooh. I hope it's. 21 will hit. All right, 2d8 plus 2. Damage is going to be a total of 12 then. For that first hit. And we're going to try to hit him again. Ugh. And really weird noises. Just shoot him and put him out of his misery. Ugh, 11. Let me add my... 1d8 inspo. 11 plus <laughs> 2. 13. 13. Uh, what the hell did they do? What? Black Cat Bandits aren't in the, the damn turn order. They're gone. Mm, they must have died of cholera. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Terry. They're 15. Uh, they yeah, they rolled one. Um, yep, doesn't one matter. Than this the dude's one. fucking dead. DTD. <laughs> she popped out the corner. You came to the wrong cart. Blows him up. Boom. I'm going to deal with this trouble anymore. All right. Those took her two shots. That'll be her turn. Ellie Mae, that was the most spectacular shooting I've ever seen. Here. I know I didn't get deputized you before, but I'm gonna deputize you now. You now, Deputy Texas Ranger. I'm a ranger. Does this give me any cool perks, like free sodas when I go to games or something? Hey, we don't take advantage of the civil servants, but if you can get one, go ahead. <laughs> oh God, the Reverend is bleeding out. I reload my elephant gun and I take a step back. <laughs> Things <laughs> way too big for the space. <laughs> we'll point that at the uh since we're within you know five ten feet, I don't have to roll on this one. <laughs> Shoot one of those darts at your back. <laughs> what do I get on this bad boy? Let's go. Two two D ten plus five healing.
I love this campaign. <laughs> 15 <laughs> points of healing back. Oh, I'm a good doctor. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you point blank shot him with a shotgun. Do you not think you were going to heal him? <laughs> Let's remember last time you shot me with a shotgun and I was out still because you hit me so hard with it. <laughs> and then I died. Ow. Ow, my ass. Ow. Don't worry, don't worry. It's certified. I bruise easily. That's definitely going to leave a mark on your ass. You're going to get 14 <laughs> points back. Oh, that kind of tickles. <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah i'm gonna take uh i'm gonna take <laughs> take my bonus action to reload my elephant gun <laughs> we're gonna get off this train we've got to move 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 and i'm <laughs> i'm going to go out the other side <laughs> and uh i'm gonna pop it to the other side i'm just gonna give myself the general perception check i have no idea my head is down my head is down <laughs> Move, 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 move! I just see your perception check come in. It just came oh, in late. There it is! Late, there dude. It is. <laughs> Doc, it's your turn. Oh, man. Oh, God. <laughs> That's the attitude. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna like uh, look look over at uh, the one that was uh, like starting to get boils and stuff that Jeremiah had touched. And, oh, oh my, that uh, oh that looks that looks really infested. Uh, oh, I think it's really bad. And I'm gonna cast infestation on him. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> so he makes a Constitution saving throw of 16 plus two. Oh! <laughs> oh, dude, really? <laughs> Stop so rolling so hot for the bad guys. Hmm. Namesake trying to pimp snot bubbles over here. Stop it, namesake. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Snot bubbles gonna, gonna die. I'm gonna kill him dead just because namesake likes him. <laughs> That's all uh, yeah, so that he actually, I don't think he takes any damage. Because um, he succeeded, so yeah. He's fine. Uh, and then uh, I'm just, oh, oh, this is real bad. Um, oh, okay, uh, uh, look, I'm not, I'm just, I don't know. Uh, you should go or something. I'm just gonna like, uh, like try to like go to the opposite side towards the ranger and just like help me. <laughs> Boy, I'm gun. gonna kill you. Please don't. I bruise easily. <laughs> I'm just gonna try and like move over like to the opposite side of the train. Like attack of opportunity. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm scared. Hell yeah, it's not bubbles taking it. So is the other individual. One blast from the salt off. Oh, they're shooting. Oof. 16 to hit. Uh, that'll hit. Oh, let's go. Only 10. The other individual, not snot bubble. He'll miss. <laughs> ah. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna like make my way to like the other side of of Ellie. Top don't, of the don't round. Worry. I'm here for you. <laughs> just get behind me. Oh, okay. If you say so. That's. <laughs> Bandit so behind toward... her. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Up on just the balcony. Enter the initiative. Mm. Fancy hat man. Oh, let's go. Let's go. I guess some white hats go blow.
all the way down at the far end. Oh, shit. I didn't see that. there was somebody down there. Oh, God. Yeah, he's a giant cowboy. Fancy hat man. Told you with a fancy mustache. He's the fancy man. You see, my boy is getting on that train. Hell or high water, it's ours now. We're gonna take care of old handsome Harry. He gonna get his looks back. He gonna get his looks back real quick, but we gotta go. So it looks like you're against us. Couldn't just let us lock them doors, could you? Now you're gonna have to die. Last thing you're gonna see is my boy's ugly burn face. Oh God, oh no, oh! As you look back to that creature that you saw snag that baby from the window, <laughs> is handsome Harry. Handsome Harry will go into the initiative along with his father. Oh my God, we got both of them in each end. Oh! Oh man. <laughs> That's what she Your boyfriend, Harry. Harry. Your boyfriend. And ugly Henry. <laughs> what a weird pairing. That's an interesting. I don't know why you called him handsome, Ellie Mae. He uglier than a mother -er. I hadn't seen him yet. Okay? It's obviously ironic. <laughs> I used to be beautiful. <laughs> I mean, can, you. can you see him now? I mean, Jeremiah for that. <laughs> 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 Handsome Harry going in the order. 18. Can I get the baby in the order just to see if he shits himself on Handsome Harry? <laughs> I think that counts. Burger, <laughs> Brian. I'm, yeah. I'm afraid that Fortuna's going to eat the baby. I think if he's, fight, if he's hey, fighting with a baby in his hand, he's got to have disadvantage, right? <laughs> yeah. It's my understanding babies can be explosive at both ends, so. Mm, true Truth. that. Truth be told, you know, just just offhand while they're rolling initiative. I remember I was in a uh, a sales meeting once and I had uh, QP on my chest when she absolutely just all over me. And uh, I, had, I had to leave the meeting because I literally had baby all over the inside of the ergo and my shirt. Oh, God. <laughs> just gets everywhere. Oh, yeah. Everywhere. All right. <laughs> like tapioca pudding squished between two pancakes. Mm, boba I mean, tea. Don't parents call those like blowouts? Yeah, full blowout. <laughs> blowouts. <Yep. laughs> I remember I had a change of kid once and it just, it was so bad. And I laid her down and it just all of it squished out like underneath her back. <laughs> like, oh my God. I just and, have to like dump this child in the tub. There's a baby. At that point, you consider throwing away the baby and the diapers. <laughs> all right, we're going into one. <laughs> <laughs> covered. It's funny, but it never happened. Roll a uh, roll a d twenty. Got to roll off with Harry's father. Who? Whom? Not me. I'm a little. I was gonna say I don't think any of us had a d twenty. Mine was literally uh. Sixteen. Whoever's at sixteen. No, no, no. It's just it's just uh just Marley. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just Marley against Harry. Harry's father. Oh, yeah. No, oh, there we go. Harry's father's first. You did well, sir. You did. Well. Hey, I'm just, I'm just here to do what the Rangers do. It's okay. It's just a turn. Handsome Harry is going to point a large revolver from the top of the balcony out. 
Leaning down, there's only one target. There's just Brampton who's ran out. You poor son of a bitch. <laughs> Two shots coming in. Oh! Oh! Let's go! Oh! Oh! That's right! Boom! Oh, I knew that child was good. <laughs> that log had a child. It's like a shriveled and is beaten as the Reverend Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Dad! Dad! He's gonna, he's gonna have to use his bonus action to try to fix his pistol, but he's got a baby in one hand. Disadvantage on this pistol fix. Gotta be above a 10. Oh! Uh. <laughs> but Harry does it with a 20. Holy shit! Good God. What a journey. From way Boy. downtown. He's going to begin running down these steps. He's going to lean around that train. Actually got a lever action Remington. Ooh, big dog. Oh really? yeah. I'm just imagining this guy with like a child wrapped to his body trying to run down some stairs. Ah, he crits. He crits on 18s. What? Who the fuck crits on 18s? High level fighter. Oh God. No, that's kind of sucks. Three shots with that repeating rifle. They are all going to hit. Ugh. Mm. Oh, that sucks. It's been a pleasure and an honor to serve with you, all of you. It's not going to be good. Yep. All right. Six D eight plus eight. Sixteen. Twenty four. Thirty, forty. Good God, sixty-eight plus forty. Ugh. Seventy-three points. Oh, 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 oh. Good God, don't follow me out here. Oh, kids got me. There was a poor decision. Oh God. Oh, so I'm gonna join that. Fool Jasper in the grave after all these epic hunts. <laughs> Good God, I just got boss smacked. 45 of 104 left. Holy shit. That's right, you son of a bitch. Should have just stayed on the cot. Thomas Yardbird Marley, it's your turn. I hate playing this character, by the way. Oh, well, that's good. How about you just go run outside the train, too, and you won't have to for long? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I'll save that. I'll save my Counter-Strike. I forgot. He's not beyond that. I mean, he's a Texas Ranger. He's not far away from Paladin. Unfortunately, he's not a Paladin. That's the problem. Doesn't have the capability, but he's got the heart. He's got the heart. He just... I mean, he doesn't know who he's up against. All he knows is that he's just heard... <sighs> he's just heard Homeboy get shot at twice. Where's the doc in this, by the way? I thought the doc ran towards us. He did, I did. never I'm moved it. Of, uh, I can't move it. 
doesn't let me. What if I were to say that you're a goddamn liar, doctor? Um, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm sorry, I can't move it. I, well, there we go, now I can. We help! Yay. <laughs> you Pac-Maned him over there! <laughs> I'm, I'm running away from the uh, ghost. Straight line. You're an easy target. Oh, For God's sakes, doctor, don't come out here! <laughs> All right, he's going to focus on what he's, he's he's just seen because the doctor has left his post at the door. He's going to activate his cloak, his arachnid, cloak of arachnidia, and crawl across the ceiling back to the other side, hang down the other door here where the doc just left, and shoot his shotgun. I love a it. Real weirdo, you know that. <laughs> it's, it's not, well, he he's hanging from the from the ceiling for a reason because he knows that there's a cat on the other side that he can. No, there's know, no break. there's no justification. It's just, you could have just walked. It's I like, mean, why okay. why not why not be the creepy arachnid guy? So I mean, that's real like, weirdo. I, I mean, Embrace he, it. it just, he wait, is, just wait till he realizes there's a web feature on that cloak. Mm-mm. Oh, he he knows about the web feature. Don't worry about that. He's he's <laughs> shooting. The, the radio, this is not level 18 combat. You're okay. Would you like to shoot the man in the white hat? Snot bubble or non snot bubble? I'm shooting snot bubble. Fuck that guy. <laughs> I dig it. Chat, if you want to know where I've hurt him, apparently it's been everywhere. All of it. <laughs> Very damaged. Who to hit on the first shot? Smooth brain mang. <laughs> what? <laughs> That'll hit. Perfect. <laughs> leave um, I'm just gonna roll the second shot since I've got it, I've got it here and I've been ridiculed 19 does 19 hit 19 hits perfect uh Lord help me all right we'll just roll this all together 4 d8 plus eight oh I love it when it works out like that two shots coming in. 25 points piercing damage going into snot bubble snot bubble hanging on by a thread (laughs) well you know what the bitch in the barn is i ain't got nothing left but um i do have a kitty (laughs) cat get this son of a bitch Athletics check to see if it can get back up in the train. All right. Uh, it, that's it. <laughs> Plus three. That would. Strength and athletics go hand in hand, yes? Yep, yep. Yep, okay, it's a plus three. Make, making sure before I, uh, before I roll that out. Oh, oh let's go. <laughs> It's going to jump all the way from there. Just spread. It's going to go into its pounce attack. Since you're upside down, <laughs> the kitty takes a piece of your Trump toupee. And your hat's falling off. <laughs> God damn it, cat. How many times have I told you? Go mess up my hair if you do that. <laughs> Strength save from Snot Bubble. Ah, let's go! <laughs> Knock Snot Bubble prone. You got advantage on your claw and your bite. All right, I'm just gonna roll twenties on those because I don't know what. Uh, They're plus five. I got you. All right, cool. I'm just gonna roll plus five then. That'll, that'll be that'll work. Uh, Fourteen. Fourteen for... won't hit as it claws on the first. Roll the second one to see the advantage. Nineteen. He dodges out the claw the first time. Ah! God! Slits his throat. Roll that damage. <laughs> On the crag kitty, that's 1d8 plus 3. 1d8 plus 3. Oh, let's go, crag kitty. That's That makes me so happy. Good cat. Good job, Fortuna. Get him. Kill that son of a bitch. 
eight. Eight points, that'll do it. Snot yes! bubble. Snot bubble's dead. Snot bubble's <laughs> dead. Good, finally. <laughs> Fortuna's still got a bite attack. Dude, we're gonna send it to the guy next to the preacher, even though he's an ass. Oh, oh, seven. Seven ain't gonna get it done. Seven won't get it Just done. <laughs> gnawing at his cowboy boots. Too much time looking at the blood. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Reverend, it is your turn. Reverend taking that blast of shotgun will picking picking buckshot out of his neck. Will uh will drop down to his knees and raise his hands up. Dear God, I'm gonna need a little help from your servants. And uh casting summon celestial. So cast I'm summoning a defending celestial celestial. It's gonna go after my turn. In Reverend's uh, terms, it is summoning a selectual. Selectual. <laughs> Bonus action. Dear God, could you send me a selectual being? Oh, yeah. I'm here to fix Bonus the Bonus action. <laughs> Mass healing word. Everyone gets eight healing. Hey. Oh. Wait, eight healing? Eight healing. Does, yes. does that oh, come from you I... or the selectual? From you. <laughs> From me. <laughs> so that uh, that celestial will come down. It goes right after my turn, which would be now. Ta -da. So as a, a giant angel descends into this train car with me, giant wings lighting up the whole fucking place. It's it's going to. Uh, it's going to reach out and attack this guy in the white hat. Uh, where did that stat block go? Resist to hit defender. So it's using a radiant mace to melee weapon damage. What's this to hit? Um, Spell attack modifier to hit. Okay, what's my spell attack? Okay, got it. <laughs> nice choice, uh, uh, I got your I got your selectual right here. Nice. 17, 17 to hit. <laughs> 17 will hit. All right. Um dark eyeliner and all. 10 so 10 plus spell level 15 points of radiant damage 15 as points it, as it crushes it comes in with the mace smacking the shit out of that guy um and then the celestial when it attacks can choose to heal one target or give itself temporary hit points it's going to give itself some temporary hit points equal to Oh Three. yeah! What a bummer! Have you so summoned that... me, Reverend Jeremiah? I don't want to be a part of this. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, don't have, we don't have time for the for the pleasantries, Felicity. It's not ten thirty like it usually is. <laughs> Now don't test me, Felicity. I got an itchy dick and an itchy trigger finger. You know that I can't cure that, Reverend. Yes, well, you, you can't seem to cure what you cause, but we'll leave that for another time. We have bigger pressing matters. Oh, Reminder, my. Reminder, appointment next Tuesday. <laughs> I'll get to you, demon. I saw what you did. I, I don't know what you mean. Keep what an eye the, on that devil over there. <laughs> what was the amount of damage you did? What was your total? F 15 radiant with his mace. 15 hanging on by a thread. Damn. Um, also, uh, he has healing touch, which you can use one once per day. I'm also going to go ahead and use that on myself. 2d8 plus the spells level. 
quit touching yourself for <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, think about Reverend. Two plus 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 20 healing. I am back exactly up to full. Let's go. Oh, mud cat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, meta. Touch me first. <laughs> Touch me real good. Don't want to be a part of this. <laughs> I want to run away. Oh, God. Get in there nice and deep. Line. It's all right. Which side are you on? You didn't have to hear it. God, that's true. <laughs> if it's my right side, I can't hear it. <laughs> Deaf in the right ear. So. Yeah, you just hear Brampton out here. Oh, God. I think I severed my sack from the tube. <laughs> it's even worse out that way. Welcome oh, to God. episode one of Dungeons and Kinks. <laughs> no shaming. Holy crap, this dude has lived to have another turn. What does he shoot at? He just uh, runs. He's I got a giant celestial. <laughs> he's got my freshman year girlfriend to his right. He's got Radio's cat. Oh, shit. I don't know, man. Marley hanging upside down, just having a dumb head. He's just going to point and shoot. That ain't gonna get the job done. Fourteen ain't doing it. No, sir. Mm -mm. That will do it, though. Fifteen points of piercing damage. Got it. Thank you. Just barely flinches. Oh my God, this is awful. Black hat's up on the balcony. Ellie Mae's got... Oh, oh, they got sharpshooter though. Ah, let's go. Let's go. I got one with a shot on Ellie Mae. So they're going to use it. I mean, sure. <laughs> They're going to take that with sharpshooter. Okay. So this is a plus five. Ugh. Yeah, that'll hit. Second shot, sharpshooter. Oh, let's go. No. Second shot will not hit. I do have counter strike. Can I shoot at this distance? Uh, what what's you gonna shoot? The dude shooting at me. <laughs> yeah, but what are you gonna shoot? What's your uh, what's your weapon? Uh, my shotgun probably doesn't reach that far. Shotgun's not gonna reach up there, but your uh. My revolver might. Your revolver can. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. You do not have sharpshooter, so they have three quarters cover. Okay. Up on the uh, well, now I'm gonna say they got half cover up on the balcony. Yeah, because they're shooting at me at the same time. So it's what I'm gonna added. I will. I'm gonna add that. So you gotta be to 25. <laughs> roll to hit. Okay, 25. You can do this. Just roll 20. Yeah, yeah. It'll be easy. <laughs> so close. Oh. So close. Yep, that's not going to do it. All right, 2d10 plus 18 from this shot. All right. 29 points of piercing damage. Okay, wow, that hurts. Jesus, plus 18, what the hell? Sharpshooter's that Sharp plus shooter. 10. Oh, if he takes the minus five to the roll or whatever, yeah. Yeah, that hurts. All right, this black hat right down here. He's gonna he's gonna aim at Brampton. Sharpshooter plus five. Oh, oh no! My God, no! Dude, he's dead. Oh. Just you. Did you melt the The NPC. No, I just, I just healed him. <laughs> I don't know about that. You healed me Come for on. like eight, right? Come on, man! I just healed, healed you. You healed me for eight. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Enough. Oh my god. Enough. Let's let's see if I even survive this this thirty eight right off the top. Two D two D ten plus thirty eight. Forty seven points. Ah, oh god. It's bringing me home. Oh my god. I have. You gave me. I gave you eight. <laughs> I'm looking to see if I put that uh, eight on. You were on. You were down, unconscious. I gave you eight, and you haven't been hit since then. I wasn't. I'm not <laughs> unconscious. I never went down. Oh, were you not down? Oh, I thought you were. Nope. All oh, right. Shit. Then I wasted the wasted the spell. Forty. 47 points of damage. I got six to 105. I could not be hit by this next shot. Ah! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> you probably shot through one of the holes already in me, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, Ellie Mae, it is your turn. Oh, good. Fucking sharpshooters. I guess I'm going to go. Well, I might as well go help over here, right? Well, no, there's only oops. That's not. Yeah, that's me. Mm. Sorry, it's a little hard for me to focus with my one eye. <laughs> <laughs> real disadvantage. This is a real disadvantage. I'm having difficulties making sure I'm touching the right character. All right. You know what? For a half step, we're going to hop out. We're going to shoot our revolver. And then we're going to hop back in for our move. We're going to make it happen that way. Let's see if anything works. So we're going to focus on the one that we tried to shoot earlier on this far side here. Yeah. Actually, quick question. If I were to shoot the pillars underneath the balcony, let's say if I hit it with my shotgun would i collapse the whole thing no dang it okay well got some tnt I mm. <laughs> up this skirt you never know tnt <laughs> spinal might <laughs> all right then we'll just we'll just go straight ever, ever shot a pillar shot ever shot a pillar on <laughs> weed oh, okay well <laughs> this was fun i'm dead hmm Oh God! No! Ellie May! I hate that one. I hate that one. No! <laughs> no! Your gun is jammed! Great. I am. I can't shoot anything from there. For now, I retreat back inside. <laughs> Some bitch! Over here. <laughs> Somewhere. Okay, that's my turn. <laughs> I'll ruin that one. You got to roll on your bonus action. You need to get 10 or higher. Oh, gosh. That's not going to work. No, it will work. You will get this. Oh, oh no, God. Oh, that, gun, that gun is done. I just throw it's, the revolver. Oh, oh, oh. I just throw it. I hate this gun. It's a dumb gun. <laughs> <laughs> dumb, stupid gun. Oh. Wow. Oh, no use. Can I wait? Can I throw the gun as an attack? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Improvise weapon. Yeah, improvise. Yeah, you got a you got a distance of twenty feet with it. There's the there's the guy in the white hat over here. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna throw it at him. <laughs> Definitely gonna Here it comes out. the third one, <laughs> Reverend Jeremiah, in the back of the head. Gonna do whatever we can. I don't know what damage will look like with this, but a seventeen to hit. Seventeen hits. <laughs> <laughs> one uh, one d four plus your proficiency. Because oh, okay. I imagine Ellie May's thrown her shit before. Probably That's proficient <laughs> in it. Fairly true. Yes. Okay, that'll be a total of six points of damage. Six then. points of damage. You got it done. Yeah. 
D T D. Nice. El hombre a la bandita. Órale, órale, órale. He turns his head Let's just go. to the side, gets hit with the hell of that gun right in the temple. Calls him out. Stupid gun. <laughs> Wasting my time, making me look all stupid. <laughs> oh god! There we have it. <laughs> oh god! End of Ellie Mae's turn. Oh no, Crag Kitty. Fortuna. Ah. No, Fortuna. Cat. She's out there on her own. Yeah, so is that angel though. The angel's inside. Yeah, but they're going to be able to get a shot off on the angel would be the biggest thing inside the car. It would be hard to see radio because it's just a head. It'd be, he looks like the little thing that hanging down to the back of my throat uh, <laughs> for the train cart. It, yeah, it'd be the reverend, reverend or the angel. I'm yeah, I'm gonna shoot at the angel. <laughs> Critopotamus. That'll hit. Mm. Twenty one will, will hit. That will hit. Googly moogly. All right. Four D ten. Mm. Plus forty six. Gone seventy two <laughs> points on the angel. It's gone. Other sharpshooter taking aim at the crag kitty. 14 to hit. What's its AC? 13. Oh no. Yeah, Second shot. No. no. Oh. Two hits. Let's see. 40 10 plus 16. I'm not I'm not holding that hope for this oh, 32. Actually, no, they were both with sharpshooter. It's got 36. That sharpshooter ah. with this with this disadvantage? Doesn't have disadvantage. I mean, it's got a negative five on it, right? It's like Great Weapon Master. No, radio. It, the I'm, cat's I'm, dead. I'm, it's got a plus five because it's got a plus 10 normally. That's the minus five I was talking about. Oh, bye, cat. She's gone. Ah, looks up. <laughs> <laughs> Crack Ow. Kitty is gone. Oh god, it was a horrible idea to get out here! There's sharpshooters everywhere! Oh god. Brampton is going to limp his happy ass back up in the cart. Oh god, Brampton. He's gonna he have to- He shoots himself. He's <laughs> just in the foot. <laughs> God, ah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, st <laughs> I gotta stab myself twice, man. I gotta think about myself over here. <laughs> Forty ten plus ten. When I think about it, I stab myself. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Come on. Brams is gonna get thirty eight points back. Oh, 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 like hell. Mm. Nope, that'll be it. That's gonna be the end of my turn. <laughs> Doctor, I think I'm dying. I think I'm dying. <laughs> Oh, well, I can't. Should, I, can't should, I can't wait absolutely. till Tuesday. 
yeah, we should absolutely uh, schedule an appointment um, to get you looked at. Um, we could, I, I might be able to, to patch you up. Um, uh, just, just give me a, a second. I just need to assess the, the, the surroundings. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna poke my head out. Can I see, who all can I see up top if I poke my head out? Like of the train, right? Like if I just take a quick step out and take a look and see, who all can I actually like see with my eyes? Uh, depends on you, uh, how high you roll on your perception. Okay, all right. Well, oh boy. Okay. Uh, what is my per Oh, not good. Not good, but we'll give her a go. Oh, oh let's go. <laughs> 21. 21. You're going to be able to see poking your head out. Uh, which, which side are you doing it on? Uh, the one I'm Left near. Side. It's just easier, right? I'm going to say that you can lean up and you can see handsome Harry's nasty ass face the baby and the two black hats okay uh so I will uh <laughs> I will look at them and I'll say um I, I think I think we got off on the wrong foot um I, I I just I highly suggest that you you gently put everything that you're holding down and run as fast as you can to the nearest ocean and I will cast mass suggestion on the three of them all right Handsome Harry will not apply with legendary resistance. Okay. It will work on the other two. All right. Uh, so it's just a, uh, what is it? I think it's a wisdom save. Yeah, wisdom saving throw a 16 for the two guards. Or the two black hats. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Oh. Lit. This is going exactly as we planned. You got a you got a cantrip or a uh, a shot? If you have a uh, gun. Uh, <laughs> I mean, but they're like they're in, <laughs> they're in cover, I guess. Um, I mean, at least you can try. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you'll see him, um, just like, uh, like poke his head back in. Oh, that, um, well, I, I tried to talk some sense into him. Um, I, at least I have this. And he pulls out this pistol, but it's like the weirdest contraption of a pistol you've ever seen. Uh, and it's like, kind of looks like an empty barrel with like a handle. And he just like pokes his head back out and I will Eldritch Blast three times at one of the guys <laughs> to the right. <laughs> Eldritch Pistol. <laughs> Yeah, so I will roll three times, I guess, to hit. And I'll just aim at the uh, one to the, like, probably the one in the middle, because it's probably the best one I have. Uh, so that will be plus Handsome eight. Handsome Harry? Oh. Uh, no, I feel like if I'm popping out, it's probably the hard. Well, actually, because he's, he's a bit bigger than the others, right? So he'd probably be the easiest one to hit. Like, you know where they're at, so you know what to do. So you're essentially like, you're you're laying on your back and shooting up out the window. Okay, yeah, then, uh, no, I'll still probably aim at the, the middle guy right okay, here. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I'll, I'll aim at him all Plus three shots. Plus two to his AC. Okay, all right. Um, all right. So, 21. 21 hits. Ugh. Second will miss. 26. Two will hit. All right, so that'll be. So it'll be 15 points of force damage. And then I will uh, pop back in. I need the sound effects board from uh, Sunset Riders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And I'll just Capcom. like work my way, work <laughs> my way like over here, uh, like towards the middle of the train, and then I'll just like do it. Like I'm just like gonna like start like feeling uh, freaking. Uh, I fucking forget your character's name. <laughs> Dang it! Wow. But I'm just like okay. Uh, I can just take a quick look uh, and see. Um, but, but that's gonna be my 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 full action. Latch on top. We can go up. <laughs> going outside. Oh, oh uh, yeah. There's there's a there's a latch right here. 
It was a poor decision by my part. <laughs> Everybody inside the train cart. You hear a a sound of two things hitting the top of that train cart. Noted. <laughs> You have no idea where Harry Father's at. Harry Father. <laughs> There's the Harry Father. That, that would be handsome Harry Father in abbreviation. That's, that's Captain Speak. You haven't had enough drinks to understand that. I, I get it perfectly. The Harry Father. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, last scene up top there. You do not see them anymore. Yardbird, it is your turn. Latches on the top, you say? What the hell? Oh, there's my hat. As the arachnid leans him down and he grabs it in his hands. All right, fine then. Hold on. There we go. All right, be that way. As he starts to make his way towards the back of the train. And he casts Long Strider on himself. Moves all the way to the back of the train. I assume this is a part of the, the cart we have access to. Oh, uh, yeah, that'll be like you, you got to go outside the train and then in. Yeah, but you can get there. Yeah, with with Long Strider, I can actually uh, I, I add an let's say an additional ten feet, so that that gives me forty feet of movement. There's that a whole business class car here of people. Oh God, he's coming to rob us! He's coming to rob us right now! Oh God! Oh God! <laughs> Just take my money! Shut up! Take my oh, money. God damn! Texas Ranger, I'm not here to rob you. The sons of bitches on the outside are here to rob you. We're here to save your asses. If you got a gun, I recommend you put some bullets in it and don't shoot my friends. Everybody else who wants to take over this train is on the outside. Do you see anybody outside this window that ain't us? You shoot them. What the hell is Texas Ranger doing in New Mexico? <laughs> Obviously, you don't know these territories. He's going to pop through the, the, that top hat. I, that's, that's pretty much going to use every bit of movement I have to get there, and I don't think that's going to give me any shot on anybody. And I don't have an action surge card to throw on top of that. I'm just trying to get around behind everybody. Roll a perception check. Mm, perception. I love perception. That it's a that's dirty twenty. You look across. There are two sticks of active dynamite on top of that train car. Oh God. One with an incredible short fuse that looks like it's about to blow. One with a slightly longer fuse. Chad, what do I do? I've used all my movement. I can try and bullseye that piece of dynamite, or I can literally tell everybody else inside the car there's dynamite. I might shoot, say, shoot the wick. Ooh. Throw your sword at it. <laughs> okay, you know what? Fine. We're gonna Texas Ranger this. But that's what I'm gonna do. Since I haven't, I've, I've used literally my movement to get here. I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot the dynamite that's got the long wick uh, with the short wick on it. Oh God! Wrong. 
I mean, if I shoot it, it, it renders it inert. I like it. I like it. Okay. This, sharp, is, this is, is a sharpshooter shot. DC 22. Oh, <laughs> plus, <laughs> plus eight on the old pistol ain't going to get it done. But you know what? I have faith. You know what? I'm going to mud cat channel this. I'm going to shoot this dynamite with the pistol that I got in my hand right now. All right. Here's the deal. <sighs> Anything under 22. You've got a good chance of hitting this son of a bitch. Do it. Blowing. On site. <sighs> you know what? <laughs> but you can stop it. Here's the deal. Under 10. You're making contact on that dynamite. Which doesn't do anything. Blows it up. Blows it up. I mean, force does not detonate dynamite. Hey, radio. Hey, radio. (laughs) I'm I'm fucking with you. I know. Hey, radio. I know know what the stakes are. Roll your dice. (laughs) <laughs> yep. Here we go. We're rolling, baby. No percussions. No repercussions. Oh. Well. As you pop that shot off. Missing. Fire going into the cart. <laughs> Explosion. I need dexterity saving throws from everybody inside the cart. <laughs> I left it oh, to yeah. the dice. That's a nine. <laughs> Ten. I've been only rolling tens. <laughs> <laughs> the boom. Ugh. Oh. Uh, I will add a uh, blessing on that for a D10 to hopefully help. Fuck. (laughs) Uh, Am I able to do an inspiration and a like feet thing of mine, like both of them to boost? Mm-hmm. Okay, then I'm gonna I'm gonna take this uh, inspiration I got and apply it in the hopes that I just save, you know. <laughs> We're just stacking everything I can. <laughs> Eighteen. <laughs> I don't know if that's enough, but we're just stacking it. Full send. Eighteen. You will save. Hey. Oh, we got lucky. Did we get lucky with three ones? Mm, First stick stick of dynamite up above us goes off. No matter what, whether you, uh, whether you hit it then or not, it's fuse had a one. So it was going off, but you had a chance. You tried. Nothing venture, nothing gained. One stick of dynamite still up at this shrapnel torn roof. (sighs) 24 points. Oh God, it's horrible, it hits. There's nowhere to go. The governor's cornered. Reverend Jeremiah. Oh, I will. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Tough call now. I will stumble out of this car as as I get hit by a piece of dynamite. Stumble way out, way out here. I will look up at the uh, at this guy up here, and I will say. 
Go to hell! And I'll, he'll have to make a charisma save or be banished. <laughs> charisma save. Minus, oh. minus two. Which one? Which person are you looking at? This far one right here. Uh, this guy. Okay. Minus two. Oh my God, oh, 17. Will you quit rolling like <laughs> God level nonsense on the, the bad guys, please? Good God. Oh, oh real. Uh, okay. Dude, this so is that, awful. We need that didn't work. We needed both these spells to go off on the balcony sharpshooters. Bonus action. Spiritual weapon. Uh, a spiritual revolver appears. A radiant revolver appears behind him. Is gonna take a shot at him. Uh, what's the hit on this? They can appear 30 feet away. It can, uh, it can appear 60 feet range. Oh, nice. Let's go. So it should just be my normal to hit. 17 to hit. Seventeen will hit. So that'll be seven seven radiant damage for that guy. <laughs> yep. Seven radiant damage. Seven radiant damage in. Actually, sorry, it's force. Not dang not radiant force. Got it. And that gun just hangs out there. I can move it on bonus actions and use it. You have control. Dope. That's it. White hat bandits. From now the bottom, they are done. Black hat bandits on the balcony. One was gonna run this way. Two shots at the Reverend. Good God. But it'll hit. Oh, at least they can't crit on 18. Eighteen hit. That will hit. Oof. Don't think I have any reactions. Not any that would help me. Four D ten. Plus sixteen. Or, I'm sorry, thirty six. Fifty eight points of damage. I am the... down. Mm. Stumble out of the explosion and get gunned down. Thomas Marley, I want you to roll a stealth check. Because I'm assuming that you stealthily opened up this hatch back here. <laughs> That's quite the assumption. That's a 14, you know, that stealth check. <laughs> Dude, these oh guys. God. Will you quit rolling so f***ing hot <laughs> for the bad guys? Good God. Four <laughs> campaigns. <laughs> He's rolled nothing lower than a 17. He's a very aware man. Oh, shit, man. Here it goes. He leans down looking at Thomas Marley. Two shots. Sharpshooter. Oh my God, 22. Second shot, 15. 15 just hits. <laughs> oh, oh, I think it's about time you change dice colors. I don't like that red die. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you change to white? That's what the, Omen the used to roll ones anymore. on. Oh, oh 60 God. points for... <laughs> That was a hell of a shot. Holy That's the first shit. shot you've taken in a quite a while. Oh, three nine three nine. Mm. 
It ain't looking good, y'all. It ain't looking good. Hmm. Ellie May. I ain't dying cowering in this stupid train car. If I'm going out, we're going out. So, quick question. If I take my 10 steps outside, can I crawl on top of the train <laughs> to get closer to Handsome Harry? So it I is can actually ripped up with shrapnel. <laughs> but you can, cert you can certainly try. I will certainly try. I'm just roll a d20. Or is it like athletics? Roll a d20. Use your athletics. Okay. Or acrobatics, either one. All right. That's gonna be a 22 to climb up there. Roll a perception check as you're climbing. Okay. That is going to be a three. Oh, no. I'm just focusing on climbing. No. Nothing else. There's that stick of dynamite up there. Perfect. Oh, shit. Perfect. <laughs> Oh, three out of no, right? What does what does three mean? Oh. Three turn or three? Never mind. I got a feeling I know what it is. Shit! 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 Here I am, going out in a blaze of glory. I will not die in fear. What do you do, Ellie Mae? You are on top of the shrapnel cart. Okay, can I, am I close enough that I can actually shoot or try to shoot Harry with my shotgun? You're like at the very end of the distance. I'll give it to you. They got a plus two. I'll take it. I will take whatever I can get. <sighs> cool, 16, wait, 16 plus. Four, so that's a dirty 20. Using dirty 20 hit. will hit. Yes. All right, let's roll to see if our second one hits. Okay, that will be a 14. I'm going to use my lucky because it's all out or nothing. Okay, well, that's worse. That's a lot. <laughs> Never mind on that end. <laughs> lucky is not oh, like God. Me. All right, 2d8 plus two then. 12 points of damage. I ain't afraid of you. <laughs> Should be, but. I killed the baby. <laughs> That's, I killed the baby. Oh no. You killed the if baby. If I can't have the baby, nobody can. <laughs> you killed the baby. I oh, forgot he was on the All baby. Right, Are you yeah. kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? I just saved the baby from a lifetime of trouble and trauma. Oh gosh, I'm an awful monster. What have I done? What have I done? I'm sorry for killing the baby. I, 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 I have nothing to say to you right now. I'm, I'm, I'm appalled, seriously. I'm gonna roll perception with disadvantage because this will make all the difference in the world on my next roll. Nine, you're safe. You gonna shoot me because I shot the baby? Yes. <laughs> he, he's a fucking self-righteous ranger. He didn't see it. He has no fucking clue what's going on. It was an accident. I, wasn't I mean, a baby was crying. There was a gunshot. Now the baby's quiet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
hey, it's it's the heat of battle. I'm just saying. Uh... <laughs> you don't even know the well, baby's name. Well then. Doesn't matter. You got a second shot in that thing or just throw no! it? No! 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 It's fucking lettering. No! 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 Well, I've done enough damage on my turn, so I'm gonna end it. Ellie May, your second <laughs> shot, you no, baby murderer. Oh, no. oh, oh no, my no, god. This is when I rolled the four with the lucky. Ellie May, the baby killer. That's a terrible name. That's a good use for inspiration. That's a terrible name. <laughs> I'm not a murderer of children. The way you murdered that baby says different. <laughs> Maybe if no one finds the body, it's fine. <laughs> good, that's a good point. <laughs> oh, God. That shit got dark. <sighs> it's only murder if somebody's around to label it. Sorry, this is awful. I have to laugh about it because if not, it's really awful for me. <laughs> it's really awful. It's an imaginary baby. Just remember that, okay? It's not real. <laughs> it's not real. This is very important. Tell yourself that all you want. Your mind makes it real. <laughs> Ellie made the passive fire. <laughs> cool, they're worse. You're not Vin Diesel. Oh. The baby was actually not a baby at all. It was a stick of dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> Both of us have blown up. <laughs> Marley. You can see the smoke coalesce from the steam engine down on the far balcony. As you see a ghastly figure begin to appear Fuck. the child is mine now the deal is off. I no longer need you or your father's help, Harry. As you see the child spectral form up in their arms. Oh, God damn it, we had a deal. We had a deal that that child, you can do what you want after he siphoned all of his youth away. This is not what we agreed upon. Son of a bitch. You son of a <laughs> As you can see the veins popping out of Harry Father's head as it just explodes. Scanner style. With power word kill. Oh. Harry's father was over here holding his action with his rifle. I imagine from my view, all I see is some brains just kind of <laughs> out of the side. The Midnight Rider goes into the initiative.
Conti. Jesus Christ. All right. Currently, white hats are all frightened. Oh my God! They they will break that fear and run to back up Harry. <clears throat> Attack of opportunity for your spectral weapon. Oh no, it's gone because you're down. Shit. Boss, what do you want to do with the baby? No good to us now. No fucking good to us. He's just gonna throw the baby. Ugh. Over the side of the balcony. Ellie Mae. Mm-hmm. Slide of hand. DC mm -hmm. 18. Mm. Brampton's turn. He's going to climb up that hatch. up and I'm going to see the reverend down what's your AC fine oh, it's, it's 20 so I'll be able to get you the old elephant gun This isn't going so well. Oh, what a horrible roll. Oh, no. <laughs> 10 points of healing. But you're going to be back up. Oh. Who do I aim at next? I'll just shoot my second shot over your way, Reverend. Yikes, but 14 just hits. Fifteen points of healing. And then that stick of dynamite goes off. <laughs> Dexterity saving throw for Brampton. For everyone, right? Front of the train. 
This is the, this is just the front section. Oh right. So not what's you. What's the radius on it? Uh, I have these just like at uh, a fifteen foot. So I'm I'm directly underneath him, so I have to roll that, right? Oh yeah, you gotta roll up. Sorry, I couldn't see you yeah. with the angel. Yeah. <laughs> God, I didn't even know you were there. <laughs> yeah, I'm still underneath there. Just yeah, fifteen. Wait, I have a D10. If, uh, I'm gonna save the D10. Fifteen. Uh, Is that no, all I have to say? Save nothing. Spend everything. I'm saving it for what I'm about to do. Uh -huh. I hope you live. So do I. I got 20 hit points left. Oh, here it comes. Oh no, here it comes the big bomb. Come on, get some ones in there again for us. All ones, all ones. 28 points. Brampton, he explodes. Ah! I assume a 15 fails. 15 fails. Okay. <laughs> Oh. So it was just us two that took it? Just us two. Did I not take any even though I'm on top of it? You're oh you you already got the other one. You like the uh there were single yeah. sticks from where they were at, so I didn't have them full fireball radius. They were mm -hmm. halved. Oh. <laughs> Brampton down. Doc, it is your turn. It's getting rough out there. Um, seeing how the baby is dead and the doctor above me is dead and he almost died and this Night Rider shows up. Doctor's like, um, um, well, fuck, I guess it's time to cut my losses. Shit, the boss is going to be so mad. And I'm just going to like turn and open this like door that appears in front of me in flames. And I'm going to walk through it and then just disappear and I'm gone. <laughs> Figured as much. Yeah. What a son of a bitch! <laughs> what a son of a bitch! The good doctor oh didn't even get me up! Nope. Wasn't you're more, you're more useful to my employer dead because you signed a contract, my friend. <laughs> Fun fact. You can't teleport. What I do you spell? Do you, what spell do you use? Uh, uh, dimension door. Dimension door. OK, yeah, that's different. Were you dimension dooring too? Uh, as long as it's a place I can see, I'm going to go 500 feet just out of here as far away as I can go. <laughs> like, as long as I've been there before and I can visualize it, just going. You cannot leave the building due to the Midnight Rider. You will have to place yourself somewhere still inside the building. Oh, get... <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> hmm. All right. All right. That's fine. Don't let me have my fun. It's cool. Uh, I'll just go to the place that seems the closest to an exit farthest away from him. <laughs> I'll just be like there <laughs> and I will I will do that. 
And that'll be my turn. Closest nice place play. to an exit. That's as far away from him as possible. <laughs> St. Mario Brothers. <laughs> there's no there's no gleaming white door that's an exit <laughs> that gets you True. away. <laughs> but I'm just going as far away as I can. Hmm. Maybe the maybe the first to say, you know what? you doctor live <laughs> <laughs> all right there's and then if i have movement and can actually go outside physically by like walking i will use my movement to do so <laughs> i don't know if it's just i can't teleport out of the building or if like it's something else but bam all the way over here to these steps God. fair enough that's what i'm trying to do And that'll be my turn. Handsome Harry. You killed her. He's going to point his revolver back over at you. Dr. Live first shot. Oh, oh, I didn't kill Okay. Yeah, I did. That'll hit. That'll hit. <clears throat> he blames the responsibility of the entire group for that baby's death. All right. Uh, I'll hellish rebuke. Okay, burn him again. <laughs> All right. Hellish rebuke. Smoke him if I got him, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, deck 16. He'll probably roll like a 36. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Ridiculous. <laughs> Second shot. I'm so sorry. Be legit. <laughs> That'll hit. Oh, I'm, I'm dead. I have like no HP. I was noping out for a reason. Oh no! <laughs> Time to meet your maker. Oh, I'm fine with it. <gasps> Twenty seven points. Still alive. You still alive. <laughs> but, oh, but barely. <laughs> Look at alive. you. Look at you. <laughs> I hope you escape. You remember this horror that you visited and never sleep in day again. Ah, handsome Harry running towards you. <sighs> this is this is Robert being pissed at me for trying something. <laughs> no, this is no. me having the mechanic to tell you that you thought you could escape. Mm. Mm hmm. Because layer action, you have invoked a boss into this room that has control to do it. Now, nobody else could actually do that. Okay, technically, Ellie invoked it for pointing. <laughs> Your party. <laughs> Yeah, I guess you're right. Next time I'll yell at him. Look at me, ugly. That would have caught his attention. Yardbird, it is your turn. I'm I'm kind of locked into the point of where I just got shot at when I was, thought I was being crafty. So I'm I'm gonna shoot back at the uh, the some bitch who uh, was just shooting at me. Two pistol shots. <laughs> First one coming in. Oh, oh no. no. That gun is jammed. <laughs> this is like meant to happen. This is ridiculous. Throw your gun. Yard, the gun. 
literally throwing it to a passenger who's sitting on the ground <laughs> next to him. I want you to reload that weapon right now. <laughs> and he's gonna throw again. Fucking fire that train up and go. Go. Six, uh, 14. To hit that uh, that black hat uh, guy who's on the the uh, on the balcony. Sixteen on the balcony it won't hit. Because <sighs> that little bit of cover that it got with the plus two. Yep, I get it. I get it. All right. You know what? F this noise. I've been found. <laughs> I know what's going on. I've heard I've heard the steam <sighs> train going. At this point, I'm gonna pull the latch down with my uh bonus action covering me back underneath the train. I'm gonna look at the person who's holding my gun. <laughs> now listen here. Anybody who don't look like me, you shoot them. You see a mask on their face, you shoot them. Don't take no prisoners. That's a Texas law man order. And I'm gonna scamper my ass 40 feet underneath the roof of this goddamn son of a bitch. God, what is that? Where's it gonna get me? 40, 40 is gonna get me to the edge. Shit. Oh, I mean, that's where, where it is. One gun, shotgun. Somebody who said door looking for somebody without a mask. Good luck. Anybody who comes down that doesn't look like us. Uh, <laughs> I mean, bonus action, second wind at this point. Yes, I will do a 1d10 plus three. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm not going to mess around with that nonsense. Perfect. I'll take all those hit points back. All right. End of your turn, Reverend Jeremiah. Uh, all right. I will get up from being injured, but only to my knees. Once again, raising my hands to the sky. Dear God, creator of the heavens and the earth, knower of all things, surely hell has risen from underneath the earth onto this plane and the fires are all around us consuming in our souls it is in this hour lord that we need your hot hot heat to pour <laughs> down upon us <laughs> uh, casting divine intervention oh, oh shit here it goes the strength to defeat our foes Divine intervention. What 11 consecutive? No, we're 10. What 10 consecutive numbers do you choose? Pick every number between six and nine. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, mud. Let's go. I mean, Give it we're going to go. We're going to go 60 to 70 because I'm sure it's going to roll 69. So let's go. He's going to will to happen. Let's see it. D100 coming in. Oh, am I rolling this shit? Yes, you are. Come on. Oh, oh. <laughs> mm. amazing grace. <laughs> Could I at least get my item A and item D? <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me while I whip this out. I think you've gotten enough since you keep stealing from your god. Go ahead. Roll a d6. Five. Oh shit. Roll a d10. One. Clutching 
one more scarab of protection. You could make this your cross. Whatever item that you have. You have a scarab of protection. Okay. You said item A? Yeah. Roll a d10. Nine. What is that? You have a pack of walloping ammunition? Oh shit. They gotta make a strength saving throw or be knocked prone with those bullets. Oh, let's go. Uh, That's dope. A DC 10. Yeah. How many do I get? Rest of this adventure. All right, cool. <laughs> All two rounds of it. <laughs> the countdown is real. Mm-hmm. Um... Okay. Um, bonus action since the divine intervention doesn't work. Uh, I'm going to cast holy weapon on my revolvers to give more radiant damage to my revolver. That's it. Any movement. It's the last round of uh, combat here. I just looked down and saw what time it I was. Will, I will just move forward towards this guy since I just I just prayed for a divine intervention and I'm just assuming that that God's going to have my back. So I'm just going to keep walking forward towards this dude. And towards the Midnight Rider. Divine intervention or not, I'm just assuming I got it. <laughs> get it. Go get him. That's it. That's my turn. Bandit on the balcony. He's going to take a sharpshooter shot at Dr. Live. No, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. Wait, wait, where are you? Oh, there you are. There Misses one. with a nine. <laughs> Second <laughs> shot. No, I'm dead. Oh! Oh <laughs> and a two. Oh, you, are <laughs> you need to pay for what you've done. The shots being taken at you are only justice. Second. <laughs> the other black hat guy, he's he's locked in with, with Ellie May. Two shots at Ellie May. Oh, only one's gonna hit. 2d10 plus 18. Hit me. <laughs> 27 points of piercing damage. Cool. Applied. Uh, actually, Ellie May, those are not going to hit you. You can remove that. They are going to fire. That one's going to fire at the Midnight Rider. Um, okay. Because they can. They actually can hit from that, that distance. That first one, 18, will not hit. Or no, that was a, I rolled an 18. It was a 23. All right, that damage is going on the Midnight Rider. Ellie Mae, that baby laying there, lifeless on top of that shrapnel covered train. Well, I feel awful. <laughs> I really think, I really think I should just try to leave too, but I saw what happened. Well, actually I didn't see what happened, did I? I just don't really want to do that. 
Which mean gotta get that baby to the reverend. Next. Nah. I don't even know where the reverend is. there a is. doctor? Is there a doctor anywhere here? I think the reverend's a hack, and the doctor, as far as I know, is dead. It's so not Tuesday. <laughs> it's not Tuesday. This is uh, it's not Tuesday. Welcome so I don't to the, have an appointment to go visit. The very three ten to Yuma ending <laughs> over here. <laughs> uh. Well, this was a dumb way to go out. I guess. I can't. Uh, there's no one I can hit. I can't even hit anything. Um, Just RP your exit. What are you going to do? She's going to slide off the train and then just run down the tracks. Ellie Mae running down the tracks. That'll be her turn. White Hat Bandits up on the balcony. Taking all their shots at the Midnight Rider. 17 will not hit 23 will that'll miss that of course they can't hit the midnight rider one hit down that way 25 points of damage Brampton's death saving throw succeeds. The doctor somehow with enough time to make your run and your exit out. Yeah, and I'll, I have a charger card to do it, so I just I'm yeet myself out as like I'm hey, going like you earn the gauntlet. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> So I'll burn that, I'll have an advantage card, I'll burn fucking everything, <laughs> I'm just, I'm going. Handsome Harry. Gripping that rail, looking back at the Midnight Rider. The Reverend headed towards into sure destruction with the back of his god. Marley still moving through the train. Ellie running for her life. And a Brampton the third reaching out for life. That is where the Western two shot will have to end in a shitty Western style ending. No! <laughs> So many. Oh my god, no! <laughs> Did you that have all this pent up anger? <laughs> Did you not realize where this was going, Radio? Well, no, because. Were you not I'm... watching the story? <laughs> no, we lost? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> quite literally pressing onto the front of the train to try and release the brake and go forward with the engine. Literally, my next move was going to be to ax and surge and burn my hero point to release the brake and push the train forward because of all the innocents who are on the train right now. I would really love to see a human person try to push a train forward. No, 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 I, dude, I was, I was gonna climb over the top, go through the coal bed into the engine if I could, taking every shot I could because I had 120 hit points. I, Jesus. I, I mean, that's what you're heading for. That, that, that's, that's what he's going to going. do. He's trying In my to- mind, that's where I was going. Will he succeed? Will he be ripped down? Will Jeremiah's know. God show up? <laughs> a blitz one person I was, campaign. I was just gonna Can use Channel Radio Divinity. Save the people. Well, dude, use honestly, Divinity to try to turn undead and make that guy run away. Caustic, caustic. There was a oh. huge, huge point where after I got shot, after 
pushing up the, 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 the door from the other side, whether or not I was just going to throw my gun down and go rattling towards the back and get the F out of this engagement. But, you know. Becca, he's just happy that he's the one who didn't kill the kid tonight. No, oh, dude, honestly, that would that was the just... villain for you. I murdered that child. <laughs> that was such a smart part. I murdered that child and then I skipped down the railway. That was such a small part for the Gryffindor that is Tom Yardbird Marley. I, I'm going to go retire on my Gila Monster <laughs> Gila ranch Monster Ranch with my rock children. <laughs> It'll be lovely. Oh. <laughs> By rock children. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It got rough. <laughs> it got you rough. You rolled so hot the yeah. entire night. Yeah, it was, it was like week. 18, 17, 19, 20. To go back through the campaign <laughs> all week long, literally since last week's game of saving throws, he's been on fire Just when it comes to enemies. Just couldn't stop. We just couldn't stop the 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 assault on the balcony. Just stopped everything that we could. It's bad. I mean, not having the high ground is a bad thing to begin with. But then, when they can stop every piece of magic that we throw to, it's not good either. It's really yeah. Cute. The kid came to us, so. You know, you know, when in doubt, shotgun the kid. Oh, I'm sorry. Now we don't have to fight over the kid. No one I mean, can I, th the I kid. think without the kid, they should have Poor fucking Yardbird doesn't even know the kid is dead yet. <laughs> we oblivious. Get the child! Get the child! child as soon as the child was dead, beforehand, I was like, all right, it's time for me to leave. Like, I'm, I'm done with this now. Like, I'm I'm good. Like, you gonna, I'm out. You gonna tell him? Huh? You gonna tell uh, him? Oh, I mean, it's more that he's I the devil. <laughs> well, I'm not well, he the sent devil. Me, he sent me a DM. He goes, I'm gonna take yeah. that baby and I'm gone. He was, yeah. oh! <laughs> that, was, that was the plan. So here, here's like the, the few scenarios. One, my name is Dr. Latat Live, which backwards is totally evil because um, the Y is silent. Uh, and then I L for you. The, you dude the bounty contract uh was absolutely a devil contract binding your soul to the agreement um none of you decided to look at it like closely um and there was a stipulation that you whoever physically if someone physically handed me the baby they would be exempt from it because they were the ones that retrieved the baby for me if i got the baby you all the contract was null and void on your part because none of you physically handed me the baby ergo I get your souls. Uh, so my plan was I was trying to get up there, grab the baby, and then I was just going through the door. See ya. Gone. Like, that was my plan the whole, all the whole time. <laughs> but he said, oh, <laughs> fart and dick jokes. I'm coming to play. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just, I, you know, I, I, we'll, we'll, we'll schedule it for, for next Tuesday. It'll be, it'll be just fun. Fuck this. I'm out. Like, I'm getting out. Like, <laughs> Kaiser <laughs> Soze. I'm never going to trust you again. <laughs> For one shot, you can do this stuff. I don't, I don't, you know. No, no. You know what? You know what? F you. I'm never going to trust your ass again. <laughs> oh, God. Now I'm gonna, he's going to question me like he does Robin. <laughs> 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 hey, most importantly... Thank you all for greenlining episode for us to be silly because your charity donation goals to Princess Margaret Cancer Center. You guys are awesome. That's the whole reason that this happened. Thank you all so much. Hope you enjoyed a silly night with a wonderful, tragic ending. Love y'all. Take care of yourselves. Have a wonderful rest of the evening. We'll see you tomorrow. Session zero. You get to talk about the new campaign. Where I see, don't trust legit Tuesday. at all. See, see you Tuesday. <laughs>